What up, yo? Uh, what up, we're back with a motherfucking episode of the Weekly Wicked Web Show. Yeah. Uh, here with homie Jiggy Fresh. Uh, yep. Our boy Matt Murders cannot be here tonight. Um, but really, it got to the point where we're like, yo, we got to get on another web show. And tonight was the best night that worked for us. Um, you may see yep. another episode with Matt Murders into the following week. We tend to do it like that sometimes where uh, we get Jiggy Fresh on one. And then when the schedules open back up, we get Matt Murderous or whatever in the other. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? We'll all be together back soon, though. Yes, yes. We'll schedule it out. Soon enough, you know, schedules get harder and harder. Even though we're pretty close to each other, schedules get harder and harder. And you guys all know that. Um, we're coming off of a, a pretty, I guess, eventful month of October. Yeah. It actually seems like weird that it is November right now because yeah. uh, October was like, like so long that here next it like could be Thanksgiving in a couple of weeks and then Christmas and shit. And Christmas. And it really doesn't seem like and that New at Year's. all. It yeah. Is. Uh, it doesn't really seem like that at all because uh, October, I guess, was pretty long. We did a lot of shit uh, for October. It's you know also your birthday, so you have yeah. things to celebrate in October. Um, uh, we wrapped up the sauced up swag contest yes, uh, sir. in October. Shout out to our homeboy Logan Swisher who won that shit. Yep, um, yep. You guys go ahead and look. We did our first ever live webcast uh, of this season. Um, to announce the winner of the Sauced Up Swag. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it was our homeboy, Logan Swisher, who, uh, you know, followed us on all the things, put in some work, and, you know, he's, uh, <clears throat> you know, communicates with us often, too. It's cool yeah. as fuck. And he um, was super grateful, too, so that was dope. Hell yeah, you know. know. Uh, he, he hit us up and was, you know, super grateful but with the package. Because uh, you never think you're going to win something like that. Right. And right. that's what he said, too, you know. Like, oh, I never thought I'd win here. Like, I've entered numerous contests and didn't win. Yeah, yeah. It, I actually didn't enter a contest recently and did win, and yeah, I didn't even win. want the prize. I didn't even want the prize. Here, I finally win some shit. Here, I finally feel lucky. I didn't want the prize. And I didn't want the prize. We'll get to that later. <laughs> <laughs> we will get to that yeah, later. We'll definitely talk about that. Um, but really, like, in uh, October, we did a lot of things, uh, you know, because it is, like, as a juggalo. Um, it is, like, the best time it of the year. the best time of the year. You know, there's so like much Christmas shit going on. Juggalos. Yeah, yeah, it really is. You know, and, like, <clears throat> my, myself... Uh, I'm a horror fanatic also, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I do like the the more spooky of things, if you will. I'm fucking going to dislike the video just because I said spooky like that. It's all good. <laughs> spooky. But we did a bunch of cool shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we, I, I dropped a video on here about some movies that I watched. And really, that was hard, bro. Yeah. It was hard to watch. I see, I, I, I see the tweets movies. every day, and it was like, man, you're like that, that's a lot of movies. It is, I dude. Mean, like, and uh, then some of the days were... We were watching two, two of them. Movies, yeah, two so movies, I mean, like, you know? I'd get off work, and while, you know, we're cooking dinner or whatever, we put the first one on and then watch the other one right. or some shit. Uh, we didn't, I didn't do quite 31 or whatever. I did, like, uh, Monday through Friday, basically. Right. We watched a movie yeah. almost, or really even, like, Monday through Thursday, and then on the, like, Sunday, we would catch up on some other day or other movies or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, depending on, like, work schedule and shit. And um, it was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I even made, like, a whole fucking list of, like, we did it, like, yeah. theme weeks and shit. Yeah, and it was, uh, and like, like I said, on, on the tweets, I seen seen you, uh, you know, going with the little it, themes, yeah. talking about the themes. Man, it was and it was harder than I thought. Even to be, like, really ready for it, oh, here's all the movies we're going to watch, right. it was still hard, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. uh, yeah. And, like, I didn't own a lot of them. Uh, we did, like, the fire stick for a lot of them, so some nights, like, a stream wouldn't fucking work or whatever, so we're like, oh, we can't watch this <laughs> can't tonight, watch so today. that's why I was glad I didn't put it in, like, day order or whatever. Right. We did that shit, and it was dope, and the video is still on, uh... Um, our YouTube channel right now. You can watch it. I talked about a few that I did see uh, or that I was going to watch. Um, I wanted to do like a little follow-up on that because in that video I talked about seeing the newest Halloween movie or that we were going to see it, and we did see it, and it was fucking dope. Was it? I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Bro, it's... I, I want to see it, but uh, I haven't made it. Haven't uh, made it and that's the thing. I don't want to talk about it too much. If yeah. you did don't, see it, we can talk about it too much. But it is good. There was, there was some times where I was like, ah, oh, man, you just can't do 1970s horror in 2018, and then I was like, oh, shit. Yes, yes you, you can. can. Uh, yes, you can. Uh, those of you guys who do know or don't know, Danny McBride um, from, like, uh, fucking... Uh, this is the end. I'm trying to think of some other movies. He was in Eastbound and Down, mm -hmm. the show. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He's in a, a lot of like you know Joe Rogan type funny type shit or whatever. He was in Pineapple Express, you know. Mm -hmm. um, well, but he was so one of the movie. writers on the movie. And when I first heard that, I was like, oh fuck, it's gonna like totally fuck the movie up. And you can tell that he did write on it because right. there's some like there's some funny parts that's or there's some, some there's some like one liners shit. that you say it, and like you could totally picture him saying it. And that's why I was added in there. And there was this one part and I was like. Oh man, you could see that they were at the writing table. And he was like, 
no, no, the, the fucking cop would say this after that, you know? There's like, there's a part out there that was total dead me pride, but man, Michael Myers is a straight fucking badass in this movie. Uh, his his kill count is is so high in this one. Like, he basically, if you cross paths with Michael Myers in this movie, you're dead. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, uh, so it's dope if you haven't seen it and you don't see it. Uh, it's going to come out. I think they're saying the release date, uh, like DVD and shit, will be January. So you know by December you'll be able to get that shit on like all your streaming sources or whatever. Yeah. Um, but man, it's fucking dope. Uh, when you see it, you're gonna be like, oh okay. There's this one kid in it. He steals the show uh, for a little bit. It was good. Of course, he had to be black because it would have been the only way that it made this character funny in <laughs> 2018 or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like because and all white writers or whatever. Did he like, survive? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. So he breaks the stigma. He breaks the stigma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Type of, uh, because uh, uh, even Michael Myers breaks some of his own rules in this movie. Things that you're not used to seeing Michael Myers do, he does, and. and made it seem that maybe this person could have got killed and then he does it and you're like, oh, whoa, shit. But it's a good one. I won't spoil right. it anymore. But that's something that I did want to touch base on because it was in our horror movie marathon. We actually went and saw it. And I don't go see a lot of movies in the theater anymore. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, usually we take Jonas and then I'll yeah. be like falling asleep all the fuck because it's dark, yeah. it's yeah. quiet, you know it's what kid I'm movie, saying? Kid movies, kid movies, kid movies, yeah. where I usually go. So. But we did take our son to see it and he loved the shit and yeah. it was good, you know. There's a... Speaking on that, the Halloween costumes him and uh, the family had super dope. Michael Myers theme came out fucking badass. Yeah, if you guys check that out, uh, I put it up on my Instagram, uh, Bobby Blaze two one nine. Me, uh, my wife, and our son, we did a uh, super dope uh, Rob Zombie <clears throat> Halloween. Uh, both of his movies were kind of our inspiration on our uh, costumes. Our son was a uh, young Michael Myers in the clown costume and the Michael Myers mask. Um, I was. Uh, Michael Myers when he escapes from the asylum and has the the pumpkin paper mache mask and dude the wig that I got with it I even put like baby oil in it so it look all greasy and shit yeah, or good. a robe and stuff and then uh, my wife she was a uh, um, Michael Myers' mom from like in like part two where he's like really tormented by this ghost of his mom and shit. So I mean, it was pretty dope. Check yeah. out some of the pictures that yeah, we did. It was super dope. <clears throat> we got to take some really cool ass pictures and a lot of the decorations that were around town that night. So. Uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that was, that was, like, that was, even my brother messaged friend. me. My brother doesn't have like, social whoa, media, whoa, but whoa. his wife showed him, and he's like, bro, your guys' costumes are dope. It's like, fuck, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, shit was, that shit was hype. Yeah, was like, uh, it, was, it was dope. We've always kind of wanted to do, like, you know, we want to do, like, whole family thing yeah, uh, yeah. costumes, and that one, like, it worked out perfectly to be able to do it. Uh, and that was, like, super I try, fun. I tried to do with my kids with their little assholes. Oh, well, see, John, not all the time, but we, we, we were trying to do one year yeah. to do uh, Jack and Sally, and then the kids, Lock, Shock, and Barrel, but... My two daughters fight over who's the witch, so okay. we're stuck. Well, now, you know your two <laughs> younger kids, as they get older, you'll be able to more of like, hey, you guys should be this for Halloween, and then they'd be it, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. And then you guys could all, you know, do it, yeah. and then just get Candace to dress a lawn to take pictures yeah. or whatever, you know she, what I'm she saying? She definitely do it. Hell yeah. Um, Fuck it up. Then but uh, before we get to the two shows that we went to, uh, or, you know, between us that we went to in um, October, uh, one other little thing that I talked about, or that I want to talk about that I did, uh, I went to... Um, that that ghost hunt shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. We went to uh, Ashmore, Illinois. Uh, it was about three hours or more from where we're at currently. Um, we went and stayed at the Ashmore Estates. That's uh, supposedly like uh, the top three haunted places in all of Illinois. Um, it's in the top 50 of the United States. Uh, ghost adventures, ghost hunters, all the motherfuckers have been there. Um, <clears throat> so me and uh, two of my homeboys, we went... Uh, like the weekend of the 12th, it was a Friday night, we drove down there and uh, we actually spent the night at this place. And um, the only thing that was like pretty disappointing is, because it was October, there was a lot of people there. Right. When The one that they went to last year, when they went there was only like 10 of them, with, right. including them. Here there was almost 50 people. Yeah, and it was like, it's a decently sized place, but uh, near the end of the night we were, like we really didn't get much rooms to ourselves, you know? <clears throat> but um, it was dope, there was a lot of things that happened that... Uh, I can't like flat out 100% say it was paranormal, but like uh, a lot of it was too much of a coincidence to have happened and not have been some kind of paranormal thing. So like small touches on the base. Uh, one time uh, we were with a larger group and we were doing um, those like spirit box sessions or whatever. Yeah. And th they had a person, they were listening through the headphones and they would just say what they were hearing, like the, the major words right. out of this uh, spirit box. At that time, uh, <clears throat> me, Adam, and the guy Tony that we were with, 
we got kind of bored where we were at, so we we're like, hey, uh, we were talking to one of the investigators, and she's like, you know, you guys can go ahead and go into this room or back there or whatever, and you guys will kind of be away from where we're at. So we went into this room, and uh, we were kind of uh, instigating the ghost. We were trying to be real calm for a while, right? right? <clears throat> we kind of like, we're trying to stir it up after a while, and we there was a bathroom in the room that we were in, the bathroom door, and we kept talking about, we were trying to get it to close the bedroom door, Right. Like we're like, hey, close the door. You know what I'm saying? Well, then our friend Adam started getting real shitty, and he opened the bathroom door, and there he's like, now we're never gonna close your bathroom door. So now you'll never be in private. Blah 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 blah. You know? We got bored in that room, and we left, and we went out to another room that was across the hall. And here we're on another side of the building of where the group's at right now, and we're <coughs> asking questions. And I have this all recorded, our questions, but you know, of course, we're not getting any answers. But I'm asking questions about this tree that's right out this window. Um, so after a while, you know, getting bored or whatever in there, uh, the only thing that we had heard in that room, we thought we heard a little, like, scream of some kind. Uh, but we went back out into the, the main room where they were doing the session, and they started asking us a couple of questions, and, uh, you know, they were asking us what we were talking about, and, uh, we told them first about the door thing, and they said that a voice came through screaming to close my door. Damn. And then uh, when we were looking at, we were looking out the window, we were talking about this tree, and they said three times a voice said, come outside, and then the last time it said, to show you the tree. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's fucking And weird. we weren't even in the same room. We were in a completely different part. They couldn't hear any of the questions that we were asking these things. Right. We couldn't hear anything that was going on in there. So we come out, and we're like, oh, that was crazy. And that was like, those were some of the most, compa- oh, one time we were, and at my, our boy Adam got the pictures, and there's like fucking, uh, we were talking about this light that was in this room. We set it down in the middle of the room. And we were with another group of people, and they were like teenagers and their parents and shit, which was really crazy. <clears throat> but they were like uh, talking to this little girl to tell her to turn this light on. And dude, I'm like half out of the room. I'm like, ah, I'm not leaving half into this fucking room. And the fucking flashlight turns on, bro. And Adam's there, and he's stationary with his fucking dope camera, and he takes like a series of shots. And in four of the six shots, this orb comes into frame, sits there for a second, and then shoo, disappears. And we're like, whoa, shit. And all the, like, the people who are, like, leading the thing, like, oh, we gotta see this picture. And they take a look at it and all that, you know. It was pretty wild. Uh, Like, two other small things happened that we were like, man, that could have been, you know, some ghost shit. But I feel like because there were so many people, we didn't get that real, like, oh, we've seen something move out of the corner of our eye, you know, type shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, But it was cool as fuck. And I definitely want to do it again. Um, If anybody at home is interested in any of that, I'm gonna go ahead and plug the company now. Uh, Ghost Hunt USA. And there's places all over the country and you pay a little bit of money you get to spend the night you get to use professional ghost hunting equipment they feed you they fucking you know just pop drink water coffee everything that you want you know all night um and it's it's fucking cool as fuck dude i'm definitely down for next time it was cool as fuck we want to actually go like in like the summer or something where there's not a lot of people not a lot of people because it's october now that adam knows and he's bit uh booked through the company two different times he said he's gonna go ahead and shoot him an email and uh out of the three places we want to go he's gonna ask when's the slowest time right you know what i'm saying like when is usually the slowest time for those places so we could go and then it, you know it just be our group really that Hell goes yeah. out there that'd be dope i'm down for that uh but that was something that's like uh really this october was uh probably the most shit i've done in many years you know what i'm saying yeah. like uh to do a bunch of different things i also went to a haunted house there's a local haunt that we went to it was dope as fuck went with the family did a bunch of trick-or-treating shit with my son and fucking went hiking in these local areas and stuff um uh the thing that i've probably done every fucking Halloween or every October since at least 2003, uh, maybe even before that, um, excluding one year, the CICP. Yeah. Seen ICP and Twisted, I won't lie. This was probably maybe last year or the last three years or whatever have been the only times around Halloween that I have. Well, because even that one year, that was just two years ago. Yeah. Yeah, that was just two years ago. It was just 2017 when I stopped doing Twisted shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so even every year for like for three years, every year, like if it wasn't Halloween night or an, like cause when I did UG, we were playing with a, a Twisted Chill almost every Halloween. They were right. coming to the Forge or whatever in that area. We were doing, so we did that. Uh, we did Mojo's that time. We did the Blaze after party and everything. Right. So really since about like 2003, uh, <clears throat> at least I've seen ICP and or Twisted in the month of fucking... October. Which is dope is because <clears throat> every time you know Halloween comes around, they majority of the time they're you know, well ICPs always end up in Detroit. Yeah. Twisted here lately is 
But that in is the, the Midwest. Thing, that is the thing that I, I for, that I was gonna <clears throat> add in all this. Um, in the Midwest, somewhere. I've never been to a Detroit Hello Wicked. I've been well. well it was, it was, it was just Devil's Night. Yeah. Oh, it was, was it? It was the night before. Oh, yeah. that's right. I, but I remember that, I seen you guys. Before it was my first. It was my first show that I went to actually, and it was uh, 2002. 2002 or three. And it was 2000. Two? Yeah, the first one I went to was 2002. Hollywood or the Devil Night show at. Uh, Are you sure? I Royal think Royal Oak. It was. It was O2. Yeah, because okay, it was then, O2 well, and then then Devil's 03, Night. O3 they, was my first gathering. Devil's Night 2003, ICP played in Chicago, I think. 2003. Yeah. They did Devil's Night, yeah. I think, in Chicago. But that's uh, you know. Wicked Wonka, I think, might have been. Was that it, might have been it might have been Wicked Wonka, yeah. <clears throat> uh, well, yeah, yeah we, uh, we get lucky being close to Chicago because every time the show comes yeah, through. Because usually, yeah, you look at a stop there. When Chicago was the major clown town. It's always at the end of the month. Yeah. It's real close to them going back because home. Because as they're routing yeah. the tour back, it'd be like, you know, Wisconsin, Indianapolis, Chicago, Chicago Detroit, Detroit, or some shit. Yeah. You know, because uh, there was also two years that I went down, and I'm pretty sure they were both Halloween shows. But I went to Indianapolis and I saw him in Noblesville. Cause one time Fats and his lady came up, and I stayed at Michelle's sister. We stayed at Michelle's sure. sister's house uh, the year before. I think it was Ryan Jenkins and Laura McBarney. Right. But we went to. Uh, slice EP at the Nobleville. It's like a outdoor place, and I saw uh, the Verizon Center. Or it's, I, I forgot, Me and Frankie I forgot what it's now. It's called the cl- like it's called whatever the Klitsch who make the like sound equipment. And that's what it's called now. But I just because I just went there and saw Weezer and Pixies during the summer. But it's an outdoor place or whatever right. pavilion and stuff. And I went for like two thousand and I forgot maybe two. I did Amer- the one where they the year that they did the American Psychos tour, and then the year before that, or the American Psych. Psychos tour, I yeah the year before the American Psychos tour and then the American Psychos tour Devil's Night was in Indianapolis. I saw in Indianapolis, right. um, and then you if not there was Chicago. You know what I'm saying? So right. the, the clowns are always coming through. This year I did not see them on either of those dates, but we did get to see fucking Slice EP uh, on the motherfucking Silver Jubilee, Jubilee edition of the traveling. That's what I didn't know what Silver Jubilee meant. I had to look it up. That means 25th anniversary. It was a fucking long I didn't know ass that. name. Did you know that? No. The Silver Jubilee just met 25th anniversary. Well, I know, you I like a, when you do a Silver Jubilee, that's like the 25th I know, anniversary. I, I thought like 25th anniversary was like, yeah. I know they do like weddings or shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah they call one that silver or whatever. whatever. Yeah, every but year. that's what I, I had to look it up. All I was right. like, the Silver Jubilee just meant 25th anniversary. So it was the 25th edition of the Hallow Wicked. And it really wasn't the tour, but. Uh, it was a super t- fucking long name for it. Like, <laughs> well, dude, Summer, I was like, Hollow Wicked. Every time Summer. I hashtagged it, I was like, all right, look, the last time I hashtagged it, I was like, I'm breaking this shit into parts, all right? Hollow Wicked, Traveling Freak right. Show, <laughs> Tour, <laughs> Silver <laughs> Jubilee. Yeah, like, uh, but look, man, because I don't know how it went every other night, but Waka Flocka Flame wasn't on that bitch every other night. No. And we saw Waka Flocka yeah, Waka tear is, that shit oh the God. fuck up. Like, you know, I, I like some of his shit. I was never a huge, huge fan of him, but yeah. Like, he, he switched that up. And, like, yeah, he tore that shit up. Like, devastating. He, like, mosh pit. When he did mosh pit, he was in the mosh pit. He did two tracks it, full in the full, crowd. Yeah, you know fully in the crowd. Uh, you can I see mean, video of those, those on our Instagram. We got two posts uh, of them. And he was fully in the crowd going crazy going with the fucking I mean, juggalos. He, and, I, and wasn't getting shitty like, oh, shit, you hit No, he was... Hell no, he, he encouraged people with doing. their phones out. He was all over that shit. It was yeah, so it was fucking dope, dope, dude. Like, uh... Uh, really, that night was dope as fuck. I want to give a shout out to fucking Pierre's Entertainment Center. Yeah, Pierre's um, Fort Wayne. Really, like, dope I probably couldn't Wayne. remember the last time I went to Fort Wayne. Uh, maybe since I was a kid was the last time I was out there. So it was dope. We made a little squad trip out to that motherfucker. Uh, shout out to yeah. the homeboy Ninja G, Eric Brewer, for the plug on the tickets. Yeah. Uh, we got a I'm plug doing. on the tickets to save us some fucking service fees or whatever. Made the two hour plus drive uh, to Fort Wayne. Um, Really did not expect to see the homie Ouija oh, Mac man. until uh, yeah, come, until come, earlier that day. Uh, come little demon come baby dick over here fuck. from fucking bro, like and really like. Oh yeah, and and he hooked the brother up, man. Hell yeah, he did hook he did hook me up. Look at this shit, right? I copped his uh lazy, his lazy crazy. and crazy thing. <clears throat> hooked up a little graph, you know what I'm saying? A little signature Ouija Mac loke shit. That's pretty dope, you know what I'm saying? He's Hell yeah, hopping through the crowd. One we thing got I do have to say about that too, and he was yeah. dead then too. Uh, Ouija, if y'all haven't, I mean, you see the videos, 
that's a small motherfucker. He is. Like, man. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, I I expect him to be a little bit bigger. Like, I didn't expect him to be... I guess it took me by surprise how small he actually was. When he had to reach up to... Hug. Right. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, I'm only five fucking seven, five six. you yeah. know what I'm saying? And, like, and I'm not much taller, you know what I'm saying? And he came through and gave his dance, so I was like, damn, nigga, he's, he's small. Like, small, holy shit. shit. But, hey, but look, I do want to say this, though, like, right now. Like, uh... Um, there is no doubt at all that uh, me and Juki Fresh are fucking Luigi yeah. Mac Marks, bro. Straight the fuck up. We're, we're, we're straight up into that shit, you guys. You know, uh, we've, been, we've been down since Malenko tour. Uh, that was like our first oh, yeah. real uh, shot that, urinal, we, uh, so, uh, that we saw Luigi. Uh, he did urinal and shit. And we fucking, we thought that was the dopest shit ever. It, it goes on and on to where Trash Fire was our shit. We went out to the fucking Denver and hey, fucking yeah, on look, the Ouija hunt in Denver. You know what I'm saying? Let me saying? tell you a little story about Denver. I don't know if we ever went over this. <laughs> but there's this, this dude in Denver, right? His name is Jackie Fresh. Or Jiggy McDaniels. I don't know, whatever. Jiggy Daniels, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But that yeah. motherfucker, right? <laughs> uh, he like domed a bottle of fucking whiskey, he right? Domed a bottle of whiskey, and and he was like, "Bro, this Trash Fire album's fucking the shit." But <laughs> when I see but, that little but motherfucker, I, when I see Ouija, that, or when he sees Ouija, say he's gonna steal on him. I'm a fucking, I'm gonna steal on him. I'm gonna yell, and then he, bitch, <laughs> I'm a fucking steal on him. You know what I'm saying? And here I'm like, yo, look, like I'm like, you know, introducing people to this guy. I can't be like, yo, like, yeah, do that because I like Ouija Mac. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so. We get to this motherfucking thing, right? And Jackie fucking Daniels, is, he disappears. There's Ouija, and he disappears, bro. Disappears, right? Like, oh, shit. And I was like, fuck, it's bro. It's about to go down. Kevin Hart boys like, kicked in and shit. I'm like, look, I'm just going to turn my back right now because then I don't got to, like, beat Ouija up with my with my boy or beat my boy up with Ouija. You know, I don't got to do any of that shit. So I'm just going to turn around and just pretend this isn't happening. And then when I peep over my shoulder, they're all hugged up like, oh, taking pictures and shit. And I'm like, oh, this motherfucker. Because I was on a Ouija hunt the whole weekend, bro. Yeah, we all was like, hunt, even, our, even my boy was like, oh, you should have stayed and chilled and talked to me and headshot Louie. Ouija just came. I don't like Ouija, though. So yeah, <laughs> it wasn't yeah. a big deal to yeah, him. Right, right, after, right after we left, we sat down and we were playing Ego Side and fucking Ouija. <laughs> Ouija was at the booth we were at two minutes ago. You know what I'm saying? That is the story you were going to tell, right? That was the story I was going to tell. <laughs> yes. right. then, uh, but, so, yeah, Ouija Mac Jackie Mike, Fresh. Bro. Not Jiggy Fresh. This is what we cleared that up. Yeah, Jackie Jack, Fresh. Completely different people. Completely different people. Completely different people. <laughs> completely different uh, people. Yeah, he was going to steal off Ouija, but ended up taking a selfie. Which is like, bro, the fucking the Gary Way aura stopped him in mid, like, drunken wanna pumble, and was like, nah, bro, you're the shit, let's take a picture, and it's gonna make Bobby Blaze fucking sad the rest of the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so let's hey, do yeah. this shit. Like you said, we, we, we uh, uh... But we're big Ouija Mac fans, big, man. Big Ouija Mac fans. Uh, Ouija, you can call us Marks, like you said, we're Marks, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> we're, we're in fucking Ouija Mac I mean, gear right now, bro. Like, got, you, know got, got, you know what I'm saying? Unplanned it's, it's, it's when we're in Ouija Mac gear, you know what I'm saying? I just, I just, he fucking bought the limited edition type shit, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't pass that shit. So whatever, shit. marks if you will. Whatever. Uh, but Ouija when we found out bigger. that Ouija was performing that night, we were like, fuck yeah. Yeah, little clown just uh, came out and was like, hey... It's a surprise, but we kind of knew already. We heard about it, and then we kept watching. His Ouija. intro for Ouija that night was dope. Ouija needs that shit recorded yeah. and needs to be on a mixtape or right. something. So that the yeah. intro for Ouija from Clownless was dope as fuck. Yeah. Uh, shout out Clownless. Bring up here. We brought him up last night, wherever the hell we were. He got a mosh pit going in the crowd like I have never seen. Motherfuckers slipping, splitting their heads open. And I told him, I just told him backstage. I go, you know what? Fort Wayne can do better than that. That's right. Fort Wayne can get fucking crazy. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've seen it with my own eyes. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're as excited as I am because we're gonna about to bring up this man who's gonna blow your mind, baby. And I wanna see each and every one of you get fucking crazy. Woo -hoo! Now please put your hands together and make some motherfucking noise for the one and the only psychopathic records recording artist, Luigi Matt. That whole show was just off the chain, man. It like, was, man. Uh, the, the freaks. The shout freaks out Houdini and all of his yeah, girls, man. Houdini, uh, you got what's what's homegirl's name? She's got her Instagram yeah, and shit. Uh, Nicole Hanley. Oh man, hey, look, the fire grinder chick. Look, bro, like 
everyone could clown ICP, but it's fine because they're clowns. But right. honestly, that was one of the most entertaining tours I've been to. It was dope. It wasn't like 20 fucking shitty local openers. It was, we walked in that bitch, and it was fucking it was, some freaks. Freak show, Ouija, Ouija freak show, freak show fucking, Waka. Or it was Clown Vist, then Waka. Right. Wa clown Vist, then Waka. Then Clown Vist, then ICP. Clown, yeah. You it know was, what I'm saying? Like, fucking off the chain. you can't like, fucking beat up. that shit, bro. No, like, there was no fucking, no. nothing about the show was pointless. When Waka was already coming out, I was like, bro. Actually, when we walked in, I had to pee and wanted to drink two beers before I got loose. And all of a sudden, Ouija was already getting ready to come out. Ouija was already out. We're like, damn, bro! Yeah, like, we we got we didn't even get this. We didn't even get no Budweisers in this yet. Yeah. You know what I'm That's saying? That's all it has to do. But like Budweisers, but like, so we got we got lifted real quick. Uh, bro, and, and and look, the shit was dope, man. For real. Shout out Ouija. Uh, shout out Ouija for even stopping in the crowd, giving us yeah, dabs. Like, you know what I'm saying? He, that was like, cool. He didn't. And that's the thing too. Like, he's like, I'm not walking. Back, you know, he's backstage. Like, I'm, I'm gonna go through the crowd and go to my merch booth and meet me at the merch yeah, booth. Meet me at the booth. He came through, hugged me, and my homie. You know what I'm saying? saying? Reached up to hug me and the homie, you know and we went he, to the merch booth. We went to the merch booth. I copped up. And yeah. bro, he signed everything you put in front of yeah, him. So every, shout out, bro. Yeah, we just a real one. I don't give a fuck, bro. That's cool as fuck. I mean, he was. Yeah, I mean, taking pictures with the kids. You know what I'm saying? He said, yeah, you know, hey, bring whatever. I'm gonna sign it. You know what I'm saying? So, I didn't even realize at the time that I was wearing his fucking uh, Into the Echo Side shirt, yeah. and I should have had him sign that shit up right on the card because it would have been dope as fuck. Yeah. But yeah, I was just too geeked that my boy just got a sh uh, the tag yeah. from him, you know what I'm saying? I, I had to get the tag from him because it was the exclusive shit, and even when he seen it, he was like, oh, this is the shit, homie. Oh, yeah. He was like, oh, you got the exclusive joint, you know, so. So, you know, uh, of course, you know, like. It was dope. And then, uh, was hey, it, like, full circle, Ouija follows us on the gram now, too, and I appreciate that shit, Ouija. you know what I'm saying? For sure, because we've For been sure. big supporters, and we will continue yeah, yeah. to be big supporters of Ouija Mac, you know what I'm saying? Yep, you yep. know, you've seen our gutter water review. We support him every time. Uh, we're going to hopefully go see him in Wisconsin or whatever. Yeah. Can't go up to Lansing this weekend, which would be dope, because Lansing's pretty close, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If they would already had recreational stores open, I'd be in Lansing for the weekend <laughs> show, for sure. Right, right. But, I, you know, hey, you know. Yeah, I, I had a cop the hard copy, too, of... Uh... Trash fire. And trash fire and uh and, and uh got a water. Hell yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had to get them in the uh, collection. It's a big shout out, but man, that yeah. night was dope as fuck. Yeah, and I do I uh, all Show around everything was dope as fuck. Dude, uh, I mean, and as that tour went on, I do for real the Houdini, his freaks, the girls, man, that shit was cool as fuck, dude. Yeah. I don't give a yeah, fuck, yeah. like, if it was corny or whatever, it was cool as fuck, My man bro. sniffed the rubber up his nose. Yeah, They had the, the, the human cupboard chick that man, was and fucking... I, that fire grinder shit, like, uh, a couple years back, we had recognized That's that in Chicago. Uh, <laughs> on, uh, on Super Bowl one night, we had uh, recognized up in Chicago, bro, and I did a DJ set. It was, like, an intermission to the show. And she did that, uh, I had this chick come out and do the fucking grinding shit on it. Bro, I think that's just cool as fuck. It's entertaining as fuck, you know it what is. I'm saying? Like, so that was cool, the fucking chick cutting her shit. She was the kind of, she was like, on her, on her, her arms, arms, on her man. neck, Bro. on her fucking uh, it was cool. and everything. It was uh, weird. It we was got, crazy. we heckled Houdini. It was cool, because then at the end of the night, like, after we got off stage with the clowns and shit, yeah. we seen them backstage, you know, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, we had a sneak up there, too. Oh, yeah, the yeah. One, the one dick had security guard. That's, like, one of the big parts that were, like, kind of leading out. Um, I... I've only been to one ICP show recently where I didn't get on and stage, stage, and yeah. it was at the Forge. I like uh, I was on stage before I did a did the set with Razor, right. but when ICP came out, I didn't go on stage. Then I was just right. like, "Fuck it," you know what I'm saying? Uh, but for this one, like, and you know, we're masters. We've seen ICP several times. You could tell what songs they're setting up for the end. You know what I'm saying? So, like the the second to last song, I'm like, "All right, everybody, hey, we need to get to that side of the stage <laughs> right. now. Or we're gonna rush the shit." But look, bro, really, what happened is. Now, uh, me and Jiggy Fresh, we like to drink the beers, right? You, you know like what I'm saying? Beers. So we're a little loose, and we might have been talking a little too loud about how the fact we're going to rush the stage. I was even trying to, like, calm him, and even Matt Murders was asked, like, yeah, when we do this, bro, we're going to run right here. I'm like, hey, man, fucking this security guard is right here. You know what I'm saying? So me and Jiggy Fresh, we go test the waters. We just, like, whoop, walk underneath the rope, and that security guard comes, and he's like, no, no, and I was like, Nah, bro, we're VIP. We're yeah, VIP. We, we're trying to get in there. Like, hey, you know, one time I, I talked know. myself on the stage. Like, uh, uh, last year at this ICP show, there's a video of it on our Instagram. Uh, I put it on as a throwback Thursday. But I was on the stage, and like at that time, I really wasn't supposed to be. Um, and some guy walks up to me, and he's like, hey, who said he could be up here? And I just looked at him, and I was like, Rob. And he's like, Rob who? And I was like, who the fuck do you think Rob is? And he was like, Oh, you hear it on the Facebook Live video and everything. <laughs> like, I'm like, like, the camera moves to the side for about stage. I'm like, who the fuck do you think Rob is? And the guy's just like, well, and just walks away. I'm like, yeah. So, you know, you can usually talk yourself. As long as you look like you're supposed to be there, you yeah. can be there. That's what we try to do, right? Uh, it didn't work. But I was like, 
Look, bro, I'm determined. That seventh Budweiser was like, no, Bobby Blaze, <laughs> you are getting on that stage. So, so we cut across, right? We cut across and walked to Clown 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 booth. You know and saying? there was like one little chair that was like blocking the entrance. Yeah. And we were just like, with ease. Just smacked the chair out the way and we walked. And who's it? Is it Dougie? It might have Dougie. Whoever, there's, whoever ICP stage manager is, yeah. whatever that motherfucker's name is that he's doing all, all as always, all this shit, right? We just walked past him. And then walk on the stage, and then we were on the stage like, oh, shit, oh, fuck. Wow, no. Fucking spray and fake. It was dope, bro, because uh, I had. And it at, wasn't at just this, diet fucking. Yeah, it's it, was, it was everything. At this show, uh, and it was diet, at, every I mean, ICP show everything. I've been to, it's only been, you know, the Browns, yeah. you know, root beer and cola or whatever. They had everything, you know what I'm saying? I really wanted one of those Arctic sun bottles. I got it out here. Uh, we go on stage again. Shout out my homeboy, Ouija. This ninja gave me a, a red pop, cause you know, some, once they start running out of it, go up there, motherfuckers are holding three or four or two liters or whatever. So this ninja hands me a red pop, and I think red pop smells like fucking vomit. Uh, and uh, seeing uh, Ouija, no, or Ouija Mac hands me, or I, I think I trade him out, or I traded the other guy out. Someone hands me one of the last bottles that's in the bin, they're never bringing no more bottles out. Ouija hands me this bottle, and I, I got the Arctic Sun out there for it. I was like, hell no, I want the Arctic Sun, man. Yeah. And, uh, bro, it was dope. It was Being hard. on stage, soaking fucking wet. Soaking. Soaking fucking wet. Spraying Fago out. It's hard. Boy. Uh, Shaggy Dudo had, like, some secured, some bouncer around him, you know what I'm saying? Like, my favorite thing to do, and I'm sure every other juggler who's been on stage with the clowns, my favorite thing to do is to stand in between them and fucking dump Fago on my head. And then, like... <laughs> like know that the splash is bouncing off of me and <laughs> I see me at the same time. That's like my favorite shit in the world, bro. Oh, to yeah. stand in between the clowns and spray Fago or drop the shit on my fucking my hat. Yeah, that yeah. remarkably fucking made it through. There's there's the stain yeah, on it, but that's shit. Woo shit. Uh yeah, but nice. man, that's my favorite shit, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Was hype, it, it, it was so we fucking dope. Dude, was like, yeah. Cause even in, in South Haven, we rushed the stage yeah, in South we, Haven and every, shit. We rushed the stage in South Haven, that was no problem though. Like, yeah. We just, we like, hey, we're just gonna do it. Hey, we're just, just doing it. You know? fuck, we just yeah, walked the stage and no one said shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what's, what's the worst we can do? No, you you can't go up there. All right, Watch whatever. Me. Yeah, we got up there. Watch me. That was like really like something that we almost left out of the show that was like super dope. That yeah. we were like, yeah. we just were like, yeah. fuck yeah. it, you know what I'm saying? That was the fucking icing on the cake. If I was a serial killer, oh, it's dope. I tried to take this like, you know, my finger wouldn't unlock my phone and shit. I got, like, this, like, one shitty, like, five-second video where I'm walking up behind phone. ICP, and then you can see the guy who's, like, blocking two dope, and I go in between them, and I spray my Fago, and then the video ends, but I was like, oh, man. Here, I thought I was recording all this shit, but my finger's just, like, sliding off my phone. Yeah, I'm yeah. drunk as fuck up on the stage, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was a long ride home. I, I know I was fucking wasted. I, I probably slept the whole way back. Jay's like, look, bro, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just fucking be leaning like this <laughs> on the way the home. Whole, the whole way home is... It's like, but I'm gonna sit up in the front seat. I'm gonna tell you <laughs> I'm I, I, the front I seat. had the shittiest fucking hangover from the Budweiser's that I've had in a long fucking time, and I... I blame it on the Budweiser. Really, it is. I, it is the Budweiser. Like, um, I woke up, but I won't like lie. Like for like three days. Yeah, yeah we, we had the fucking hangover for like real, two bro, days. Real, bro, it was bad, bro. It was retarded. Uh, I like I uh, I started drinking Budweisers like, like just recently, and I don't drink them like all the time. But you know. Bud Light and the Budweiser cost the same price, you know what I'm saying? Oh, if I'm that. trying to get fucking slapped, I'm going to go ahead and drink those Budweisers, you know? Like, yeah, And yeah. It, at the venue, we are going up there like, oh, give me two. Yeah, <laughs> give me yeah, two. Give me two. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, give me two of those bitches, you know? Like, fucking clinking those aluminum bottles, yeah, drinking yeah. them. Like, yeah, I, yeah. like uh, the next morning, I'm... I was like, all right, let me check my bank account and see what's in there. And I was like, well, you can track how many beers I drank uh, <laughs> right. because I was, once I ran out of cash, I only, I only bought two beers of cash and the rest. I was like, all right, I'll swipe. So every swipe of the car, that's two beers on that bitch. I was like, all right, so let me check. Yeah, Ooh, I, was like, I, I, I was like, I think I drank about like seven or eight beers then. Bought the shirts and the CDs and everything else after that. I was like, all right. And I think, yeah, like you said, first beer, shirts, CDs, and, and then that, cash was gone. And yeah, was like, I was like, right, I got to go, swipe from that. Trying to go through the card and it was... Yeah, yeah, yeah that's like, funny as hell. Oh, is this Piers? Oh, man. All right, yeah. We're a little ham, you know, but fuck it. Yo, it was dope as fuck. It was dope. It was a good and show. it was just another year that I got to see my fucking Slicey P in October on a Hollow Wicked run. Last year, we opened up for him on the 27th, uh, so that was dope. I mean, like, every year. Only in 2008 is the only time uh, in the last 10 years that I didn't see him in October. And then I, it went back in before that. I'm trying to think as far back, but I know, like, uh, 
if, if not Devil's Night, the year that you guys went. In 2003, I still had to have seen them somewhere, so it might have been the 29th yeah. in Chicago then it or some other been. shit. But then even like Wicked Wonka, they did Devil's Night in Chicago yeah. for sure. I went to that show for sure. I know that. Um, uh, but yeah, man. They were from them, them early 2000s. We were probably every fucking we were from... Chicago and Indianapolis, Indianapolis Grand Rapids, fucking Rapids, Trumps, Indianapolis, fucking Indianapolis going to Grand Rapids fucking and shit. Rapids. Hell yeah, that's and that's what's dope as fuck, man. Hell yeah. Uh, um, and then it leads up to it because you know, like uh, I had mentioned it earlier, um, in, near the end of the month, uh, on the beginning of the week, I had won some tickets to see uh, the Twisted Fright Fest tour in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was really weird too because I was like just talking shit about it. Um, I just, but like you know, out of Family United Not Divided, I went and posted the flyer on our Instagram and shit, you know what I'm saying? And, like, it was weird because the way that I phrased it, I was like, see y'all there. And then, like, when I got out of work, I checked my email, and I was like, craze, you've been selected for <laughs> two Twisted tickets. And I was like, hmm. I was like, all right, look. So I hit up Fresh, and I was like, hey, look, if you, like, really want to go, maybe I'll go, you know what I'm saying? But, like, yeah. I got these two tickets, whatever, if, you know, just let me know. He had to let me know, and the same weekend, Red Dead Redemption 2 came out, so like, fuck, twisted when it comes to that shit or whatever, right? But, totally. what's, but what's even more funny is that, uh, well, so I gave the tickets away, I didn't really want to go, it wasn't going to be no fucking smoke on me, uh, so I gave it to my boy. Uh, Which I didn't even end up using his free tickets, I ended up getting, got I went and tried to get, he sent me a link, I got two free tickets for uh, two more of the homies that were going, <laughs> so... Basically, I had hit, but then they ended up getting their tickets just in case because it said something about an ID or something. So, but they weren't checking shit, you know what I'm saying? Scanning That's why I, I mean, it was a ticket. They were just scanning uh, that bitch. So they fucking, yeah. So basically, we could have had two extra people. You know what uh, what I mean? Really, what ended up happening is that they must not have sold tickets at all because I really don't think they did good promotion on it. I'm not going to like necessarily blame. I am, though, because a lot of twi shows that I've been to recently have twisted. Yeah. There wasn't a lot of people in this area anyway. Um... But uh, there was hardly any no promotion, though, that I had seen regularly. I mean, I knew the show was happening, so right. I had to have, but, so for me it wasn't a, an effect. But uh, apparently they didn't sell the, like, Friday or Saturday before the show. They were just like, all right, free tickets. And it wasn't like you go and you, like, only one per you. It was like you plus a mother, another yeah. motherfucker, it, you know what I'm saying? A, a, a I don't know how much video. they gave away. I don't know how long this promotion went, but it was, like, still going on Sunday. Like, Sunday before the show, they yeah. were still getting all, all I know is that their link stayed up for a minute. You know what I'm saying? And I, I even sent it to a few other people. And it was like, oh, yeah, cool, cool, cool. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, but <laughs> they gave all these tickets away. And I just found out today that there was, like, not even a lot of people went, Yeah. I I went. Yeah. Uh, I mean, a few of the homies from South Bend and my, one of our longtime homies, uh, Cracker, went. And, uh... I mean, set-wise, you know, of course, they killed it. You know what I'm saying? We had X, we had uh, UGA, uh, Triple MFD with Damian Quinn. All the sets were dope, but... I bet about, you the best set was LSP. I, I, this shit was hype, I ain't gonna lie. Have you ever seen uh, Scum perform? I seen Scum when we were in... No, they didn't perform in Colorado, did they? I don't think so, did they? No. No. Yeah, no, so I never seen Scum perform. So uh, I seen him in Insane Poetry. And Insane Poetry, bro, Insane Poetry is my guy. That, he said that was like his first time in Chicago, uh, in city, in, in the city for yeah. sure. He first said Insane Poetry in said uh, Scum said it was the first time in a long time he's been there, in the actual city. And, and yeah, uh, for sure. Insane Poetry said that it was his first time. That's the shit in Chicago. So it was really dope. I mean, that's good that they actually had to play in the city like an right, actual yeah. Chicago uh, dress, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cuz if you guys aren't from like the region or the area, uh, a lot of people will be like, Joliet. "Oh, I'm in Chicago, but it's like Joliet, which is like an hour and a half out of the city, or I'm in like yeah. Schaumburg or some shit, it's like two hours out yeah. of the city." Uh, crowd crowd-wise though, it was it was really fucking I do want to give a big shout out to and this is weird. I want to do. I want to give a shout out to M N E for bringing uh, Triple M F D out on tour with them. That's dope as fuck. Those guys yeah. both deserve it. Uh, if you're not familiar with them, you're fucking yeah, snoozing. Yeah, uh, Insane they're poetry, like, psycho. Like, he's been around since like the late '80s, early '90s. Dude's cool as fuck. One of the most humble guys I've ever met. Scum is a fucking genius. Also, yes, you know what I'm saying? He's both. built. He's building and built his own empire. L S P. Right. Uh, shout out to all those cats over there. Those guys, like, um, 
when everybody and when I, when somebody knows my name and they remember my name, I always think that's the coolest shit. So like that I know Scum and I've hung out with Scum and I've had drinks with Scum and I've been out to, and he gave me a ride to the airport and shit like that. To me, like these are those are things that I'll carry in this life. I'm like, oh, you know, that was cool as fuck. Yeah. You know, Scum gave me a ride to the airport. Say, time, and, you know and both of them too, they're super humble dudes. Yeah, they're, like I, I after the bar, you know, what I'm saying, what's up? So when they came to the bar, whatever. Of course, uh, Scum is Jaeger bomb and shit. And uh, Class being with UGA, you know, and LSP also. So uh, there's I mean, this that, really cool picture on my Instagram uh, from a couple years ago, and I was doing the show with Scum, and I was in this room, and everyone was taking shots. And I was gonna take a picture of them taking shots, and in the picture it ends up capture, uh, capturing Scum turning to me in, uh, instead, and he's pointing right at me. He's like, he's Scum's uh, fr- uh, Russian. Russian, so he's uh, well, Bobby Blitz doesn't have a shot, and it's, like pointing at me and handing me <laughs> this fucking Jagermeister. I, like here, I was just like gonna take a shot of a couple of my friends, you know, right. like having oh, yeah. a uh, take a picture of them having a shot, and Scum turns around. You don't have a shot, Bobby Blaze, and fucking hands me a shot. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude, you know, like, cool as fuck. So I do, I like, uh, I do appreciate that. Um, if ICP isn't gonna bring him out, or if they do, or whatever, I definitely still appreciate anybody who uh, shows love to those guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I heard they were dope the whole tour, yeah. and I heard they got mad fucking love. They, they, they got a lot of love. Too. I mean, granted, like I said, the, the crowd was. They didn't say it was disappointing. And what's like, what's but weird I mean, is that you know. I get it was a Sunday and motherfuckers had to go to work. Some of those motherfuckers had to go to work the next day. Mm-hmm. Uh, but still, bro, I feel like you'd be going ham. You know, it's still the weekend. Yeah. You know what I mean, I, I was enjoying myself. It's, I feel like Chicago would have showed saying. the fuck out, too. And that's like, when it does get back to all of it, it does suck. And I feel like, you know, when we when they were at the the Forge earlier this year, right. they were giving away tickets the day of the show for like $5 a piece. Yeah. I think they even dropped like two for fucking 15 or something yeah. or whatever. Two for 10 oh, or I whatever. I think they were 10 and then... They dropped to five that or day, whatever the day they did. it was like $5. Yeah. Uh, and that's fucked up, you know what I'm saying? Because I've seen the Forge or when it used to be Mojo's packed. I mean, they sold out the bottom floor and then sold out the Red Room for that fucking show, you know, the yeah. after party and stuff. So I, I do feel like it is finally like affecting especially in this area which is a clown town yeah. uh but at the same like there was s- small parts of me that night that were like oh i should just go to the show yeah. you know what i'm saying well if, if you guys watch any of our other videos and those you have you know he's not the biggest m and fan or a twisted fan for that matter and we try to get him to go last minute like you know my, <laughs> my homies from south bend came down our homies from south bend came down you know our, our long time home we ain't seen in a while uh, he saw Cracker earlier in the month, yeah. and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, he was at the birthday. But, uh, <laughs> we, did have, we did have, you know what I'm saying, we had extra tickets, and he, he like you say, sent me the tickets. I ended up printing two of my own to give to the homies from South Bend, who ended up printing two of their own, just whatever. So, by the line, though, I just want you all motherfucking to just see that. I wasn't going to go, but I wanted my homies to go. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? You know what That's saying? the thing. Yeah, right? like, yeah, shout out to him, too. Like I said, uh, I don't know if it was a tweet or Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Uh, because of him, you know what I'm saying, I got to see the clowns and Twisted. And the fucking, you know what I'm saying? It's my hook, dog, dog. Hook me up for my birthday, you know what I'm saying? So it was my like, uh, say his, and I just do those things, you know, I didn't mean to do hook me up for my birthday, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know what I'm saying, he was going to front me the tickets for, uh, for Twisted, so. Hell yeah. That was dope, you know, it was the first time in a long time that I've actually seen them. Get to see them both, both in the same, you know in the same, same month, month. Let alone Halloween but, month, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because I think it was even, like. Two years ago, we went to that twisted, sh- that spooktacular, whatever the long fucking extravaganza. <laughs> ICP took that this year and did the long thing. Yeah. That year they had that. Spook so, I mean, that was dope. And like I said, the, yeah. all the sets were dope. Like uh, the first time I seen UGA perform live, it was it was, it was pretty hype. Uh, King Kong. Yeah, that shit that shit did not though. I mean, shit was dope. Uh, How was the blasphemousness, man? Uh, Al- Alazul Elu. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was pretty hype, dude. Like the first time seeing them, and like we were talking about it earlier before this video. Uh, how they sounded with the mask on, and like surprisingly, it, it was fucking good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. There was no hiccups. There was no muffle. That is the thing that I'll, I'll regret for a while is that I didn't see or really chop it up with uh, the guys from Max when I was in uh, Colorado for Gorefest uh, two years ago. Um, yeah. I just, you know, like uh, if those of you who've been to Gorefest or anything know anything about Gorefest, it's three days here in Colorado. Uh, that year in particular, like. All of my homies were out there. The uh, one six boys from fucking Wisconsin drove yeah, all the way out yeah, there. Yeah. Damien Quinn, you know, who's always out there. I went out there with Beast, fucking Razor, and then we're all out there. So it was just like a, a huge fucking party. And I was so fucking high and fucked up the whole weekend that like 
the only people that I really could talk to were people that I already know <laughs> because right. that was so fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but like, that's when I first got to see the following that X has, and I've just seen them rise over the last, yeah. you know, two years now, and that's fucking dope as fuck, so shout out to those guys. You guys see that, like, I don't know if it's just, like, fading, or, like, I'm just trying to be a little bit more open, but I don't hate everybody. I still, I do not like Twisted still, and I'm still trying to, like, show a little love here and there to other guys on MME. I did just say the other day that I'm probably gonna buy that Twisted record. When I said it to Michelle, she's like, why? She's like, even buying that on vinyl is not gonna make it sound better. Because she remembers me telling my brother that I thought it was the worst sound quality release of Twisted in history. And you could tell that they took a big hit in sound production. But it's the only thing that Twisted let out since they went on m &E that I really, really liked. I love that fucking new Nightmare yeah, shit. I thought it was sure really do. cool. Uh, but the production value on it was really bad. Like the vocals, the sound quality of it's really bad. Yeah. And uh, vinyl thinking. makes everything sound better, but <laughs> my girlfriend's saying, how's that going to make, uh, I can make shitty well, well, uh, sound, you know, like, sound like, better. Back to that, too, like, I don't, I don't know, you know, uh, Replicon, Freaky P, you know, Frankie, yeah, Frank's yeah. boys and shit, you yeah, know, yeah. Replica shots to them. Uh, they had an interview with uh, George. Yeah. Okay, like, we, I don't know, it was, it was, it was a few months back, because you could tell some stuff was uh, dated they were talking about, but they went into George's background and how... You know, he did all this shit. Like, when they first, when it, the split happened or whatever, and nobody yeah. knew about it till, you know, it basically happened around Abominations. Yeah, yeah. You know, and after, it was because of Abominations. Right. Really and then after concept. that, you know, he did his thing with them or whatever. And, uh, but he said, like, he was saying, like, they didn't have their own studio at first. So, around the time, like, New Nightmare came out, it was probably more of a transition thing. Well, but, I mean, like, you, I mean, they don't have their own I, studio I do right now. Like, they share the building with fucking, you know, oh, like, yeah. A, supposedly, a doctor's office or some shit. Way over the building, supposedly. <clears throat> I, really, I don't, I don't, I don't care. Up. All I know is, you know what I'm saying? What they actually He hates them. I like them. It's all good. And like, you know, but I don't hate you. No, no. <laughs> we don't hate each other. Uh, and really, like, I, you know, there's a lot of reasons. You guys could tell why, dude. I don't got to talk about it. That's not why we're talking about these shows anymore. But I do. <clears throat> I didn't go see Twisted. That was uh, the only contest um, recently that I think I won. I don't even know if it was a contest. They were just like, oh, well, this guy must be a juggalo. His name's Bobby Blaze. His email is just Bobby Blaze. This is for you, brother. Uh, and really, like, if Red Dead Redemption wouldn't have came out that weekend, there might have been a chance that it would have been there. There might have been a chance that it would have been there. Why are you telling me, like, like hey, shit. If you definitely want to go, like, all right, hey, bro, you know, I, I cleared it with the warden, a.k.a. the wifey, you know what I'm saying, make sure everything was good. So like, yeah, so I hit him up. He's like, uh, I don't know, bro. He's like, but if you want to call, I'll give you the tickets. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, so then I was short a man, you know, like, fuck. Like, bro, come on, you, you can't know? let me go by myself. And so I'm then, sure you know, like, find I, 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 I hit him up for it. You know, <laughs> all the time, homie, like I said, our, our homie Craig or Alex, you know, he was like, fuck yeah, you know, he's like, I ain't been to show in so long, you know. And back then, like I said, in the early 2000s, we were... We were, they were in the area. We were, yeah. they were, yeah. If they were anywhere, if they were within, anywhere within three hours two, or four, three, four hours, hours, we were there. Yeah, 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 so, sure. uh... And then <laughs> most of the time, it was our homie Craig or drive in or, you know... <laughs> this one time, we saw Twisted... <laughs> he jumped in front of my car. Remember that right yeah. from Mysterious House? This motherfucker jumped in front of my car, bro, and like, like the devil in me must have sped up, and the angel in me tried to stop last minute, but that motherfucker fucking clipped the side of my well, window. He tried like jumping. He tried to be fucking funny and jump in the hood. Yeah. And when Blaze landed on the brakes, he kind of rolled, but his knee. <laughs> Cracked the bottom fucking <laughs> Split his pants open, split his leg open, cracked the corner of my fucking windshield and shit. But yo, this bro was like, I'm gonna tape my shit up, start to give me a Vicodin, we're going to fucking slicey <laughs> feed, bro. <laughs> this motherfucker went, and I remember, I can remember tall ass cracker standing in the crowd with his taped up leg and just thinking, oh, this motherfucker, you know, you know, he hates this shit right now. Wow, no, I mean, uh, dude. For sure, for sure, man. Uh, that's funny as fuck. Oh, yeah. uh, but that's cool as fuck again, man. That, like, you know, here I saw a Slicey P. That's all that matters for uh, October. But then my boy got to go see both of the fucking, the, the fucking top duos of the fucking wicked shit. Fuck yeah. Each doing their Three own two. thing. You know, one in his uh, home state, the other in the fucking neighboring city, which is dope as fuck. And it was in Chicago, so that's cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, uh, October was fun. It was a fun run. Uh, the only thing... Whoa, wait, wait. Did that, did that record drop in October? The only thing that fucked October up. The only thing, because really, that weekend of Twisted, I would have been sitting here, playing some Red Dead, listening to some Red Fred, and it would all have been the shit. And then, but, 
Uh, what most of our, us knew in the back of our mind uh, was uh, confirmed uh, October 24th or so. <laughs> Two days before Wednesday. <laughs> Two days on a Wednesday before the album was supposed to drop on Friday. That, uh, you know, just to make sure this album was polished uh, nicely, um, which was probably the best bet to begin with, and they should have sat back and thought about it anyway. But. But. Fearless Fred and Fury will now be released. I'm feeling this February the 15th. Friday, February 15th, which is so dumb, bro. Like, that's that's what we needed to begin with. At the gathering, if you would have been like, and Fred Fury will drop Friday, February, February 15th. 15th. Motherfuckers there would have legit passed out. Michael Jackson in the fucking early 90s shit. Bro. They would have legit passed out. You would have been able to see minds literally explode and inside listen, that tent that they were in. And, and the thing that happened was, like, we got the news. We're like, oh, man, this is fucking sucks, you know? And then, like, well, maybe a few half hour later after this motherfucker hits us up on our, we got our little team chat on, our, you know, our text message, whatever, messenger. Hits us up. He's like, bro, Fearless Fred Fury, Friday, February. I'm like... And I hit him with the I hit him with the mind blown emoji. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh shit! Like, that's the ICP we know and love. That's what they should. But like you said, they should they should hit you like you know what? Hey, it, it's coming out sooner than you think. Sooner than you think, but yeah. they should just left it there. Yeah, like, oh, October twenty sixth, we're gonna you know. Because really, then, I think Shaggy threw out a date, and it was like March of next year or whatever. It was yeah. like close to the uh, like one of their birthdays right. or whatever, and. Dude. It was closer to the actual date of this shit. I would have been, I would have been like, hey, yeah, let's go with that date. And if oh, it came yeah. out earlier, yeah, and come hey. out earlier. We're ready earlier than shit. Fuck yeah. earlier. Uh, it's it's cool. I mean, that shit happens all the time. Even the la the latest Suicide Boys record, that shit was delayed like fucking a long time. Sometimes mm -hmm. artists, you know, say shit's gonna be ready, and then you're listening to your shit, and like ICP knows that Fred Fury has to be the shit. You know what I'm saying? So if they had to fucking polish that bitch up a little bit more, that's cool, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, as long as it's going to come out, and, and I'm sure it'll be dope, you know what I'm saying? And now they can fucking run the cash cow a little bit more and uh, hype up some pre-orders. Well, yeah, since, since since you guys waited so long to tell us, and then now we got, what, November, December, January, we yeah, got now three, it has four to months. Be super dope, I want to see a lot more merch, though, like, because, yeah. I mean, we, we've seen, uh, they had a couple fresh-ass hoodies and shit at, uh... Yeah. I mean, I've had this fucking Fred Fury mask since the beginning of the year, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, from fucking last year. I'm already about to new You weren't at the Twisted show last that year. That was this year. Was it this year? Yeah, it was like March. Remember ICP and Twisted were like a week apart? Oh, yeah. Why are you worried? And uh, they weren't giving away $5 ICP tickets, I can tell you that, though. <laughs> ICP and Twisted played at the same venue a week apart, and uh, one show was definitely not like the other. I couldn't move around at the ICP show. That Twisted Show had plenty of nut breathing room around where I was at. Hey, but we already talked about that. Um, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah. Fearless Fred Fury will drop the same weekend as Juggalo Day 2019 Mardi Gras edition, even though it's like a week before Mardi Gras. That is but still, it's so dope. New Orleans. So dope, dude. Uh, Juggalo Day ICP, ICP last year, Ooh. they were like, oh, cool, we're going to do it in Vegas. Because Vegas is dope as fuck. They had to top Vegas. The only way to top Vegas is do some New Orleans shit to do fucking Mardi Gras. Yeah. And that they have the information out already. The venue's booked. Everything's legit. Man, like prop psychopathic, bro. Because you dropped two big bombs in fucking a week. Yeah. Because they also dropped the Big Ballas 2018 news. And is it uh, Big Ballas at Our House? Is that what it's called? The Big Ballas yeah. Christmas big at Our House? Big Ballas Christmas at Our House, yeah. Uh, Something like that. Coolest fucking idea ever, psychopathic. Again... Um, that's super, I think it's super, super fucking cool uh, idea here with your hundred and fifty dollar ticket, which I heard are almost already sold out. I need to maybe see if I'm gonna fucking squeeze a uh, uh, hundred or three hundred dollars out of my uh, wallet right now because um, I really should just buy two. But anyway, um, it'll be a full tour of the psychopathic headquarters. I mean, the Lotus yeah. Pod Studio. Christmas all that. Um, yeah. Hell yeah, dude! Uh, I... A full tour. Uh, you'll get a special prize a special gift um and then icp and the way that they uh it's a set that even icp themselves are like you know we've never like, done this, we've never done this shit never. Before. never not expecting this so it's going to be a, an icp unplugged storytellers edition um 
that's like cool as fuck, dude, yeah. to hear these motherfuckers talk and then tell stories about the tracks or tell stories in general at psychopathic headquarters, not in a strip mall, not in a doctor's office waiting room, like okay. some other fucking people's studio and wherever in Michigan. I'm talking about a fucking compound. You can go to the fucking compound and uh, and see that shit. I think that's cool as fuck. No cameras, no video recording devices, uh, so that if you don't go, you don't know. You know what I'm saying? I think that's cool as fuck, man. That is dope. That is um, dope. That's super cool. Uh, so that's right now ICP got two really cool, uh, cool events. It, uh, ICP is crazy because they almost stretch themselves or they have so many things going on because I'm sure there'll be another DCG con. Uh, so it's like Jug Day, DCG Con, Ballers, Gathering, oh, yeah. fucking Ballers, Hollow Wicked. Hollow Wicked, <clears throat> Ballers. Uh, Jug uh, Day. Uh, yeah, Jug Day. Uh, DCG Con. DCG Con, Gathering. Gathering. You know. And then it's all full circle again. Yeah. And then you start going Hollow Wicked, yeah. tour, somewhere in between there. Yeah, it's crazy. And they're supposed and to then. do a whole other tour in uh, December they're talking about too. And they've done it every year. They've done a tour in December every year, yeah. so... They're supposed to do the E&J tour and then another sh uh, solo Shaggy tour. Oh, yeah. That's uh, what they were talking about. So, man, I think that's cool as fuck. Uh, hopefully, we could end up at some something. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh... If I had to put... Jug Day over, uh... That, or, yeah. I mean, Jug Day and Mardi Gras would be super fresh. <sighs> because, it's, like you said, it's the weekend of Fred Fury. But big balls at the compound... If tickets That's aren't okay. sold out by tomorrow morning, I'm going to do some kind of crunch to my finances. I mean, honestly, like, even with my bills, if I had to charge $300, that's nothing I couldn't just pay off real right. quick. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my charge card is I didn't, still from Denver. My, my, I, I rebalanced from Denver, but I don't know what I did. I forgot what I did, but, like, I kind of jagged myself a little bit. Uh, so I've been slowly... And, you know, interest is a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You know? Uh, but... Uh, I'm almost back because I wanted to get square before Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Adult life, you gotta get square before Christmas. But I'm like, shit, this could be my Christmas present. You know what mine was? I could have. It should have been paid off by now from Denver. But I fuck off with my credit card a lot, and I, that's a problem. I have. I guess they carried it a problem because. I mean, I don't, I don't pay, make the minimum payment. I make a hefty payment, but then it's like, see, oh, I think what I got money back on this card. Cool. I think what happened in Denver is that, um, I collected everything from everybody cash. Yeah. You know, I never put that cash back in the bank, you know what I'm saying? I spend the shit, our car got towed, you know what I'm oh, saying? Man. That was like a bunch of cash out of my pocket, you know, and then we got paid back. But still, like, then that wasn't this or whatever, right. and I already spent a bunch of money. So I think maybe I am still lingering from our hotel from Denver. Ah, fuck, whatever. I'm about, I'm gonna, I want to crunch some numbers, and if really, I mean, 300 bucks, me and this motherfucker might have to fucking put I, some Christmas hats I, on. And go on this I, I will go. I'll be back. That's <laughs> right. Uh, um, but yeah, because of that, you know what I'm saying, uh, um, one of those are, are going to happen. And I hope that they announce uh, DCG Con again, because uh, if, if so, man, this might be my third DCG Con, and it will be the third DCG Con. Um, as, uh, we kind of get into some of the stuff about Fearless Fred Fury. <clears throat> I kind of wanted to uh, like uh, talk a little shit. A little like, uh, I don't know, like, I guess we could like call it speculation. Um, we could speculate on what's going on right now. Um, I know Jiggy Fresh is going to be here in a minute to talk about this, uh, this subject with me. But, uh, and I'm sure Juggalos know, and I'm sure Juggalos have seen, I really haven't seen a lot of people talking about it. Um, <clears throat> and I haven't seen, uh, I really haven't seen a lot of people bring up this thing at all. Um, and it's kind of a big deal, I feel like. But uh, <clears throat> what's going on with ICP and KG, Kevin Gill? What the fuck is going on? If somebody could tell me, because KG won't tell me, KG won't tell us, but if someone could tell me what's going on with him. Uh, KG was doing all of their um, social media promotion and all that shit. But then something happened along the lines, and then KG was all this kind of sneak dissing about Fred Fury, all this kind of shit about, oh, well, surely they wouldn't wait until the last, if, if well, someone had an album coming out, surely they wouldn't wait until the last minute to tell you that it's not coming out. They, or, or even one of the posts was, it was like Monday, anybody, uh, 
got any albums they're looking for that are coming out this weekend? Yeah. So and that's I, when I really started picking it up on what, it. What it was, too, like when we were discussing this earlier, I think it was right either the day or maybe two days before they actually said, like, hey, February 15th, he had hit us with that. Oh, well, surely, because I, I remember seeing some post about something and someone commented on there, like, Hey, what, what's up with Fred Fury? What's up with Fred Fred? You know, blah, blah, yeah. blah, you know. And he was like, he was like surely, well, they, surely they, they wouldn't, wouldn't wait know. until the last minute to tell you that the album's not coming out. And then out. sure enough, the next day or whatever, it might have been the same day, next day, they hit us with the IG or whatever, or on a social media post, just, hey, February 15th. In the, in the coming days before that, it, you'd seen a lot of cryptic messages from KG. Uh, that which yeah you know, could have been they were open ended you know you what, couldn't really yeah a lot a lot of us like about. I said earlier we we have our group chat you yeah. know what I'm saying with us man murderers Kristen you know Lotus um, and it was it was a lot of back and forth between all four of us it was like oh dude look at on his Twitter yeah, he, he said saying this. he said this oh yeah. look at his Facebook look at this post oh look at the comments are and all of them are like you know you could you could tell something anything. was you up. couldn't get a, a, a it wasn't like, a definitive you know, you could thing. You reach at things for it. Like, you could tie it in. If you wanted to fit a narrative, were, it could fit a narrative. It was like, you know, uh, <clears throat> you know it, it, it's a shame when you do something about his job and, and yeah, yeah. you know, people you've been doing work with for so long, blah, 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 and your opinion doesn't matter. You know, shit like that. Like, it was real subliminal at first, yeah. and then, like, it's like, oh, no, no, he, no, it's PMA, man. It's KG, you know? And that's and, the thing. Like, that's that, what makes this, just, like, so weird is that, like, I really, really like the character that, uh, KG possesses. He's a fucking like cool ass guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he he's really the fun. PMA mm -hmm. shit. He's an intelligent guy. He's well spoken. Uh, he's uh, mm -hmm. done a lot in life. I could kick the heater on. No, I just knew we were sweating sorry. like a motherfucker here before. I put my fucking hood um, right I turned my heat way low because of we were getting hot. I'm wearing a hood. I just wanted to flex on the motherfucking Queen G Mac. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Limited edition. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, KG, I like this guy forever. You know what I'm saying? He's a lot of us that like inspired us to do things in life and be positive people in life and uh he really inflated our egos when we were doing uh muj the first round um he plugged us yeah, with Mylon J one little time little. while we were in detroit which was really fucking cool you know what i'm saying uh i'll always like have love for kg but it really wasn't until like even yesterday bro like uh where i felt weird about it where i was like yo fuck kg for a minute like uh, yesterday. You're gonna get them twisted vibes for KG. <clears throat> for real, I like, cause I can catch those vibes. You know? <laughs> I can catch the vibes. Um, you gonna get them twisted vibes for KG. You know? Uh, I uh, yesterday was um, take a juggalo to Red Lobster Day. Um, I hope y'all participated and ate them cheddar bays. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Currently, it's my fucking uh. Unlimited shrimp for fifteen ninety nine. Know what I'm saying? Uh, get we ain't got no red lobster super close around here. I mean, just a couple of them. I was gonna have to go all in Munster. I'm gonna take it far. Take an injury to Hooter Day. How about uh, that? That's what they that's need right, right down here. Yeah, well, that's real. We close got, we got, well, and Quaker Steaks. Who they open back up? I don't know if I'll ever go there again. Though. I don't know either. That's a but... whole another seminar. <laughs> uh, but really, like, uh, so then KG, then the other day, which like, you know, like, and I'm gonna say this. Uh, there's like. In the community, like, you know, oh, there's, like, ribbon, there's there's jokes, there's jabs, there's johns, you know what I'm saying? But then there's, like, stupid shit like this, and KG yesterday was like, oh, something about taking a little red lobster today, or are they going to change the date on us till next year, last minute? Like, whew, like, bro, like, for real? That's fire. And then, like, later on that night, he said something about, like, juggalos are, like, fantastic or whatever, but for, like, even that, that don't fucking make up for it to me. Uh, it just kind of pissed me off. Like, bro, like, if those are your boys and you're sneak dissing them now, don't be a hoe. Tell me why you're you're mad at them. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Don't be real, man. Yeah. Like, if you're going to talk shit at me, motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Like, at me. You know what I'm saying? Like, so if you're, if, if you're saying this stuff, be a man and fucking... Talk to who, talk to who you're talking about it. Either way, I wish I would either side would say something like yeah, like let us know what the fuck's going on. You know, put like, up put up what was their fucking uh they used to do Vine used to do uh weekly weekly fucking, freakly weekly freakly yeah, yeah weekly freakly throw it out weekly. like hey look this is this is what's going this down this is what happened or whoever's handling ICP's yeah. account or KG we know I will one hundred percent say that I feel like who whoever is in charge of making announcements for psychopathic or ICP needs to really step your fucking game up. 
you guys need to announce things regularly and all the time and plug shit, you know what I'm saying? It's not up to ICP to do that. It's up to you, someone else to do that. They should have proper, better management. Yeah, probably, or on top of uh, all, uh, 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 media years back, people had to step in and tell Violent J he couldn't make decisions anymore. He said that openly. It's in the book. I fucking mm. audio book within the last two years. Uh, he says that where he had to have, tell them that someone else needs to make decisions and someone needs to be making decisions and talk. Clearly, that's clear. Everyone knows that. But if something is so bad where KG and ICP have fallen out, then shit's bad as fuck, yeah. bro. K K like, if KG, been... who is the light in our darkness, is now casting shade, you know things are something's bad. Something's bad, yeah. Like, I mean, something's I mean, bad. To the point where, like, I, I understand it. If it's a personal thing, like, yeah, it's really none of our business, but... When you but start, then if it's nothing or if it's when you start, our yeah, business, when you start throwing on social media. And I get that's your personal Facebook yeah. or whatever, but you, uh, KG is farther than, like, my Facebook, you know? KG has people, He's got plenty of people He's he doesn't know reach, on his Facebook. He has a reach. He is a a, a figurehead now. He is exactly. a person. He is, you know, something else besides just, you know, Kevin Gill from New York or wherever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? He is not, he is a, an entity now. So if, you're gonna talk like that on there, then you have to be. You have to address the whole thing. You can't just like, oh, this is my personal you know, Facebook. I could say what the fuck I want. This is my opinion. Now I'm, I'm pissed off. Uh, because it, man. Like, not that... too long ago, and even maybe as far as last year, you were talking shit about Twisted and all the things that they were doing. But now you're on your social media, and I'm talking to KG. You might never even see this, but I'm saying you were. But KG is now on his social media, jabbing at what everyone perceives. Has to be ICP. No, it, 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 yeah, it, it's past perceiving, bro. It's 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 fucking ICP. Like it's it's past for like it's past like oh maybe he's not talking about them. The the, the juggalo taking juggalo to Red Lobster Day might be funny to you, but then you have to think about people like me. That's it's, what, what's funny about that. That's not ICP shit. T taking Juggalo to Red Lobster Day did not start with ICP or anything. I'm pretty sure it started on a fucking episode of a, like. What's that fucking re uh, addiction shit? You know what I'm saying? It was on TLC or whatever. I'm pretty sure it started, you know, where like the people are on drugs and the oh, intervention. Yeah, yeah. Intervention. intervention yeah. I'm pretty sure that shit started on a fucking episode of Intervention or some shit. It's not a fucking ICP thing. ICP don't go out to fucking eat Red Lobster and fucking take a jello to Red Lobster Day. It's That's a fucking fun thing in our easy. community. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a fun thing. So to just like say that, like, I don't know how many people thought that was actually funny. The only people I feel like who thought that were funny were bootlicking ass sword oh. swallowers, bro. I thought it was funny. Sword swallowing <laughs> bootlickers, bro. People who are an empty venue. You and lit still liquor! Put, people who are an Listen. empty venue and they still push you from behind because you're having a good time. That's the kind of person that does it. Hey. That's the kind of person that does it. You know I ain't gonna lie. I, as soon as I see that, I'm like, yo. I. I <laughs> I threw it in our group chat. Bro, because I had, I saw it, and then like, I already ah! tweeted. I saw it, I wowed it, and then tweeted about the issue. Like I hit him with the tear face, and my OG laughing. Because, like, I mean, like, I, I'm I'm not either or. You know I'm be honest, I, I thought I missed fucking Take a Juggle to Red Lobster Day by a month already, so I already thought it was for schedule. I love, I love them both, you know what I'm saying? But it, it, to me, like, I mean, as much as it gets twisted, like, when Fred Fury didn't drop, like, I was like, you know... That's uh -huh, really why I didn't go see Twisted Dude, that weekend funny. then, too, because all the little bitches were going to be like, oh, hey, I was, I was Fearless Fred, huh? Hey, you're here but, because, hey, you're here you what, because you Fearless were, Fred didn't come like out? Like I said, if you would have came with us to Twisted, I would have been the one hey, laughing at these other We, we, we might have been talking shit on my like, oh, yeah, haha, Fred Fury ain't dropping, but... And then when we got there, he'd be like, "Where's the fans at, bro? Yeah, Where are the bitches at, bro? Like, I'm telling you, hey, where the sword swallowers? Like I said, the performances were hype as fuck, but the crowd was. Oh, hey, man. but look, Chicago crowds are lame as fuck these days, though. Anyway, I don't know what yeah. happened, bro. All yeah. of us are old or some shit. Chicago crowds, are, for the most part, are lame as fuck. Well, anyway, hey, but I heard Ghost Mane played down the block, though, so that's why Twisted didn't fucking win, because fucking Ghost Mane played. But back to this fucking KG shit, man. Uh, I just don't know what the fuck's going on, and I want someone to fucking let us know what's going on. I've always liked KG. I'm a big fan of KG. Oh, yeah, uh, I, mean, I got KG... Fucking pins, stickers, fucking I listen to PMA listen, Power Hour. I fucking We got love for KG and and I think we always will, but I mean what no. went down? You know what I'm saying? Like like yeah, I don't I know about know him. What like, like what what happened to positive you know 
Positive mental attitude, PMA. You're, what, you're like, like you guys have it been got down. To that you guys have been down yeah. for so long. What got to that bad to where you got to sleep happened? with some man? I mean, it, it's not like, like uh, like oh, everybody's got to know. But I mean, and I, inquiring I, minds want to know. Some of us do want to know. I also right? like we're like, one of them, we're one of the people that want to know. Here, like you know, you were you were an open guy. You're into the uh, community, KG. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I feel like if this was like a lesson that people need to learn. Like, don't do business with your friends. Some type of shit along those lines. We would like to know it, you know. Like, and I really don't see a lot of people talking about it. I see people like on KG's comments or whatever occasionally, yeah, but that's the only thing I've seen. Like, it's nobody is. Fagel lovers ain't put out a motherfucking article. What's good? You know what I'm saying? Nobody's put out an article about like what's good. But I genuinely want to know because I like. These are people that I like. These are people that I've, yeah. you know, like. Followed I'm or whatever saying, for even years. Even that DCG you know like when you were trying, was a DCG kind of yeah, like, bought those bought like, the to records, get the records from KG, you know, and it was like, like you were supposed to meet up with him and everything. And I mean, shit everything got, got hectic at DCG, but look, I'm still a man of my word. I bought all the shit off you that I said I was gonna buy off you. You know what I'm saying? We worked shit out on the right, fucking, right. you know, on, on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I rock his fucking pins on my shit, and really, like, I don't think that will change. But when you do things like that that I consider, like, hoe tactics, like what Twisted would do or some shit, uh, then I'm like, yeah, fuck, no, that's fucking sneak dissing ass Stick shit. Up. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, be a man and... you Maybe you signed an NDA, you can't dire- address these motherfuckers directly, then I need to know that. I Like, yo, like, I gotta know something, bro. Like, I mean, you've, I, made I, me, you've made me a fan of you, uh... But I know you through these guys. I gotta know right. what the fuck's going on. Like, why aren't you tight with my boys no more? Are you tight with my boys still? You know, like, what happened? Did they fail you? Like, Did I mean, they not I, fucking help you out in the situation? I think, I think I've been trying to, you know, reach out to them through, through Twitter. Or DM Instagram. his ass, yeah, bro. I, I have. I think I, I, think I have through, through both team pages. And we haven't had any response. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean... We're trying to build MJ back up. And I said back in back in the day we had some some pretty dope interviews and shit. You know what I'm saying along the way. And we might have been able to get this information then. And it, again, we yeah. Know. And right now it's like you know, hey, we're up and coming again. You know what I'm saying? We're we're trying to get back to our status. But even if it's not that, even if it's not like, hey, give us an interview. Like, I just want to know. Hey man, hook us up. You know what I'm saying? What what, what what's going on? You know DM what I'm saying? me, like, ask me not to post the shit, and like, I won't. I'm clearly a man of my word. Like I said again, <clears throat> I told you I was gonna buy something off you. I wasn't one of those flake ass jugglers that had nothing to do with me not having money or anything. It was because there was a fucking stupid ass shutdown at the fucking DCG con, and me and my boys made the best of it. We didn't hang out at this fucking hotel, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, we went and fucking saw Colorado for what it was. Yep. Uh, uh, and I still bought the record, your pins, all that shit afterwards, you know what I'm saying? So, like, man to man. They went through that in our giveaway. Did you throw a sticker? Yeah, yeah. He even for, plugged a sticker uh, into uh, Swisher? for a uh, Logan Swisher just to throw that in because. We are fans of KG because KG is a fucking juggalo. And that's all we want to know, you know what I'm saying? That is like, he has so much love for juggalo. And, and it's not saying that he doesn't have love for the juggalo. No, 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 like, no, no, no. He, At he, all, he, and he knows that he does. That rib, though, on that, like, about, like, the taking juggalo to Red Lobster thing, right. that's totally a juggalo thing. That's like not said, an ICP yeah, thing. That, that wasn't, you know, that so wasn't like, ICP related. That was kind of just weird. Oh, they're going to change the data in the last minute or whatever? Hey, bro, I know you don't fucking eat your fucking vegetarian or whatever, <laughs> so don't rip up my fucking cheddar bay biscuits and fucking lobster uh, mac and cheese that I didn't get to eat yesterday, bro. Like, really, uh, take a juggalo to Red Lobster Day for juggalos, I was going to go have dinner with my friend. That's all. That was going to be tight. That me and my boy were going to go out and have dinner, you know, with his sister, his lady. I'm, like, tight with this sister. If you don't tell tight, us you know what's what happening, I'm going to send steaks to you and Ouija Mick. Yeah, bro. Omaha steaks. And then, like, and what's weird is that, like, because you don't even see him on his Ouija Mac game anymore, you know? He used to, like, hype Ouija Mac up all the time then, yeah, too. Yeah, and you don't really yeah. see that anymore. And it's like, what the fuck happened? You know what I'm saying? What, what was the fallout? Like, what the fuck like happened? I said, like, we, we, we've discussed it privately, like I said, in our, in our, in our team chat, you know, when we, we got, we got time. speculation of why things might have went on. But, but it's like, at the same time, it's like, dude, what, what could have went that bad that yeah. PMA, KG, and so pissed off are sneak dissing and that's ICP? Like, like our what girl, the she was like, fuck uh, happened? Maybe not sneak dissing, but shots fired. She doesn't just, she didn't know what the definition of sneak dissing was. And for those of you who don't, KG is openly talking about ICP. We know he's talking Without about ICP, but he won't say ICP. He won't tag ICP in it. He won't tag Joe in it. He won't say, hey, Joe. Or he won't pick up his cell phone, 
call Joe. And maybe he did, but we don't know that. We just assume from what's happening online. Right. So maybe he, uh, maybe he's called Joe and Joe told him to fuck off. Or maybe he hasn't. And if you're picking up your phone to fucking tweet all funny things about uh, their record not dropping or some shit, but you like, can't pick up the phone and call, and call someone fucking be like, yo, about, let's work this shit you're out. You're fucking man, dude. Bro, I'm then saying. like, what the fuck? And but at the same time, like you said, but we don't know what's going we on. We don't know if he did call and they were just like, hey, fuck you. So he's like, all right, well, fuck you too. Here's this, you yeah. know. So we don't know what happened. But and I, I do, I, the, the, the respect, main part of respect this, KG. Yeah. First and foremost, you I mean, it's your privacy, it's not you know what I'm saying? That, that is a privacy thing, but... But at the same time, a, if you're talking about it, tell some motherfucker about it. Yeah, what the fuck happened? Like, hey, bro, like, don't just start thinking, what, what happened to DM, put you... We both follow each other on Twitter, we're friends on fucking Facebook. Slide on the grams, shit. whatever, you follow us. Like, 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 I, I actually just thought about it, I'm like, man, what, is that gonna be weird if, like, tonight I slide up into fucking KG's DM and just go, what's going on with you and ICP? Will he answer me? I think I've, I think I have. If, if I look back at, a, at our the DM, page, DM? Or yeah, just like tweet no, at him. I, I will. No, I think in the DM, DM. Hey, we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm going to look. I'm going to look. That's one of the things. Uh, something I'm else we were talking about, too, because like, I'm not, and I'm not real uh, caught up on the whole whole thing uh, with happened with uh, CPN, <laughs> uh, Child's Play Ninja. Um, like Before we go any farther, I just want to say I've never watched the CPN video. Uh, I don't fuck with CPN. I don't know the dude. Uh, and if he's psychopathic till he fucking dies, psychopathic till we die, motherfucker. Hey, that's all I gotta say about that. Uh, same thing goes with Chuck Reeves. Uh, I don't know Chuck Reeves. Never watched a Chuck Reeves. What do they call that guy? Chuck Reeves, what do they call him? Beard, coast, oh. east host or something. I don't know. Look, I don't know the dude. Either way, fuck both of them because they're both cloud chasing little bitches who ride dicks. Uh, I don't know either like of super these dudes. Uh, Super I heard about this shit with Child's Play Ninja. Uh, no <laughs> I shit. The video. No shit. First thing that went through my head, I was like, man, bro, could I fucking fight Dustin? Would I fight Dustin? I think like, you would fight him. I think I would fight him, right? At least yeah. at least you think that I would fight him. I, cool, I, I bro. Because cool. I, I was like, damn. I, I, I'd probably fight him. I'm a skinny. I'm a... Could I beat Dustin up if I threw that shot? If I threw that fucking, that Bobby Blaze fucking Conor McGregor, but I got a right. If I threw that and I, could I, could I knock Dustin out? I mean, me being a skinny nigga, I'll probably just hit him in the throat and then just go from there, but... Because I'm, I'm not showing up someplace of the enemies without knowing I'm going to fight this motherfucker. You know, without knowing that, hey, look, no one's punking well, me. I'm at least going to fight. Look, so I'm I, never going to show up at the ops. Listen. With, unless I'm prepared. Right. Well, so for whatever happened with this dude... Let, let, me, let, me, let me explain. Like, I, I understand what he's saying. And uh, CPN, I, I seen the video. and Like I like you say, I haven't watched full videos of his, but I watched little... Fucking snippets and our, you know, a few minutes of his YouTube videos. Same with, same with fucking Chuck, whatever. Uh, I watch your videos and both of them fucking annoy me to a fucking extreme that's retarded. Like, I, I, it gives me a fucking headache thinking, like, you know, like CPN. I mean, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Psychopath, like he said, psychopath, whatever. Like, and, then, my dad, bitch. and then you got Chuck Reeves, who's Emily, you know, blah, 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 whatever. They're both fucking, of them, both of them, both of them to me are fucking ignorant. They fucking, they piss me off to an extreme. But seeing is, as, seeing it, as how we talked about that since the beginning, though, those yeah. guys do fucking they're, feel they're the fucking, fire to this whole they thing. They feel, yeah. yeah I, I think you got rid of them too. A lot of this shit would be, I want to say resolved, but there'd be a lot less, less instigation. A lot, it, like, yeah, exactly, a lot less instigation. But going back to this video, I, I, I actually watched the video. Cause I seen somebody post about it. And I was like, I gotta see it. I gotta see what happened. You know, like, what the fuck? I seen all these. No, what it was, I seen the memes. Chuck Reeves posted me. I'm like, yeah, what the yeah. fuck is this? You know, and then I started seeing stories coming in here and there. Our homie Fatal Frankie, uh, who's a big M&E supporter, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Freaky P, Replicon, you know, I seen a couple of video of memes or something from them. Or it might have been Fatal Frankie, just whatever. Anyway, I seen the memes of. It was like a screenshot of, of Child's Play Engine. like, oh. That face you make and you know you're about to get jumped. It's like, what the fuck is this, you know? So I dug a little deeper, you know, and then I see, oh, well, yeah, he goes to Emony's <laughs> fucking compound, whatever, you know, strip mall, whatever Bobby Blake wants to call it. It is, is it a strip mall or some shit, bro? Like, it, no it's not really like, a strip mall. It's like an office complex, bro. Like, yeah, you know, like, you know, you go see your therapist there, and then, like, you pay a fucking your water bill. No, and... it's not, not that kind of strip mall. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like a fucking uh, 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 check it, uh, Western Union at the end of the day. But anyway, so he shows up, right? And he's walking out. I got out. Bizarre from D12 in the studio 
right now. Well, well the thing is, <laughs> he shows up in the video, right? So he's out. Oh, if you don't believe me, this is the place. Watch the six foot, seven foot, you know, whatever. Watch the video. You'll see it's the same place. Okay, cool. You're at fucking wherever M and E's at. You know, they're at the offices. So, what, what is he fucking? Who's that guy? Is he King Crimson? I'm gonna stand out here and wait until Paulie shows up. Is that what? Because look, honestly, I don't support doing that. I do not no. support going there. Like, what? real 100% talk, you don't go to the ops unless you're ready to do some fucking and that, and that, train the ops. That's, that's what I was you know getting to. Like, he went there trying to be, oh, you know, if you don't believe me, watch the video. Ho ho, you know, little chubby fucking fat mouth. I hate that motherfucker. I'm sorry. I hate him and Chuck Reeves. But anyway. He, he's walking back and forth, you know, well, it's not this building. Well, it's not here. Well, you know, oh, maybe it's this door. Blah, blah. So he walks in his door, and then, there, you know, there's little offices here and there, whatever, little doors. And he's and he's going through these fucking doors. Oh, this isn't it. Oh, well, no, this one isn't it. Finds like, well, I gotta go take a piss, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So he goes, takes a piss, and he comes out, you know, oh, I didn't flush, pissing at me, you know, whatever. But then he walks outside, and... Dustin and another whoever I don't know who it was see him so they confront him you know they're talking shit to him and he's like hey fam you know fam fam you know blah blah he's talking all this shit until Dustin checks his ass slaps the phone out of his hand steals on him whatever and the phone hits the ground so all you hear is him let me get my phone back bro come on come on bro why you, you know what I mean and he's bitching and crying Dustin said you know fuck your phone get the fuck out of here you know whatever happened in this video, you know, you can hear Dustin tell him, get the fuck out of here, fuck your phone, whatever. And he's, he's come on, well, let me, let me get my phone, let me get my phone. So anyway, he picks it, he finally gets his phone back, I don't know if he picks it up, Dustin, you know, they gave it to him, whatever, let him pick it up. But he walks away, right? And he's walking away and he's, you know, mumbling, whatever, his little shit. But until he gets to his car, he doesn't say, <laughs> he's like, hey fam, hey fam, you hit like a bitch. When he's fucking, Dustin's over here by the building and... You got your car door open, ready to hop in that motherfucker and take off. And then it's, until you pull off, you keep talking shit. <laughs> That's the type of shit, look, I don't support any of that type of shit. That's like some that. whole shit. I don't like, support any of that type I of mean, shit. I mean, hey, for sure. I don't give a fuck. It, sure. it, if you can't fight, but like you said, if you're going, if you're showing up to the enemy's fucking, <laughs> if you're showing up to the <laughs> ops fucking, <laughs> the enemy's enemy, enemy, whatever. <laughs> if you're showing up to the ops fucking territory yeah. and you ain't ready to throw down, the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? And you gonna let him steal off you? And not even just like, look, you, psycho, uh, psychopathic all day, bitch. If we're riding, gonna... if we're riding, psychopathic all day. But you can't be doing shit like that to make motherfuckers like me look stupid. He slaps your phone out your hand, it's stuck you in the jaw. Even though you said he hits like a bitch, you did hey, nothing look, about it. Because even if I'm getting my ass whooped, I'm throwing some shots. At I'm throwing shots ass. back. If I'm getting hit. Dustin, look, if he doesn't knock me out, I'm swinging back. I don't it's know, it's I don't know simple. Dustin like that. I don't follow Dustin or anything like that. But I'm sure this motherfucker's not out running treadmills and no. training and shit. You know du what I'm saying? Dustin is he's, he's a chubby dude. Yeah, you know what I'm you saying. You've seen him, uh, chubby dude, green mohawk. I'm I, I'm hopefully gonna slip this big motherfucker. He's gonna have to try to wrap me, and maybe even if it wraps me, I'm still gonna jits his ass and put him to sleep. But if not, I'm trying to throw that punch. I, if I was CPN, and I'm nothing, I would have. I if I was. Because I already said there might be a, a, a MNE spot where I might roll up on and fucking knock a motherfucker out. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to fucking MNE quarters without knowing I'm fucking, I'm going to have to throw a punch at somebody. So if Dustin slaps the phone out of my hand, first thought in my motherfucking head is, I better fucking slap Dustin's jaw on the back of his Dude, fucking at least, skull. At you least. know what I'm throw a, Even so, if you miss him, uh, fight I six six five, nigga, fight back, back, bro. Like Look, you fucking pussy. Like I don't so, give a fuck, so I've seen bro. people post. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know who watches this video. I don't know who supports any of our shit. But I've seen people talk about it, and the, I will stand with you on this, bro. Like CPN don't represent juggalos like us. No, uh, yeah, him or Chuck Reese. Uh, fuck both of them. Hey, and, oh, because we, we were talking about it, I was like, oh, can I sleep Dustin? I could for sure sleep Chuck Reeves though. So if that motherfucker talks slick and he wants to pop out a nice EP event, I'm a fucking, I'll fucking push his jaw into the back of his fucking brain too. You know what I'm saying? No problem, because I could for sure beat him up. Dustin might fucking swoop me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, but I'm still gonna go. But I just want to say, wait, we wait. don't like, we don't, like, I don't support that type I of found shit. It. I ain't gonna watch this shit. No, bro. you're gonna watch it real quick. No, we'll watch it after this no, shit. I'll watch it after this shit. I'll watch it after this shit. Watch watch I ain't watching this shit, bro. Watch it go. I'll, I'll watch it after this shit. Watch it get stuck. But look, man, 100% though. Uh, if you ain't stealing off him, back. 100%. I don't fuck. I don't support what no. CPN does. Uh, and I don't like. If you guys watch this shit, I don't support what, I don't support what CPN did because um, 
if I did that and I knew, okay, I'm going to fucking MNE's place, I would have known that I need to at least be ready to either fight somebody or the police are coming. Because, like, I yeah. keep saying, I'm not going to the ops. I'm not going to the fucking enemy's place. I'm not pulling up unless I'm fucking fighting. Why am I going to walk around well, see, your... I, why am I going to walk around your building and hope well, that you're not there? Well, the what does thing, that yeah, prove? That's you know what, what it was. The whole thing, I think, it was like, yeah. okay, it, it was at the Hollow Wicked or yeah. whatever. So he's like, oh, I'll hey, come here and nobody's going to be here. Nobody's going to be here. Du- and then Dustin's there. Yeah. Or whoever's there. You know what I'm saying? Why would you go around somewhere and be like, oh, I... They're not here. I'll just walk around. That's like to me. That's fucking stupid no ass shit. bitch. That's shit. like going to the wrong hood. Like, oh shit. Yeah, they're they're at the park at that barbecue. So I'm gonna go wear red in the crib. So you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, that's you don't do that shit, you don't. bro. So I mean, to so try to be try to look hard. If, for and, if and if Dustin would have like fucked him up, fucked him up. Cool. Fuck that dude. Like really. Like yeah. I said, I've never watched a CPN video. Uh, I watched that one. Uh, I, I might, hey, but in all in all honesty, I might even chop it up with CPN because you know we're on the same side. But you just can't be making us look stupid no, like fuck that. Fuck him and Chuck Reeves. I don't get. I, I fuck both of them. I really fuck both of them. 100%. They're clout chasers. Bro. I don't know sure. both of them. Fuck both. Of them. We've never done this to chase clout. In fact, I stopped doing MUJ temporarily so that it wasn't seen as a clout chasing yeah. opportunity yeah. because we were doing other ventures at the time. Uh, so I don't want anyone to think that we're just doing straight fam shit. And when people do that, it makes us all look yeah. stupid. Uh, and I, everything that, that I hear people say that Chuck Reeves says, uh, fuck that motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, everything that, like, CPN does, his, uh, I mean, he, he tries to pull this fucking black, white fucking card that he's black so he can say st- or a certain shit. No, you yeah, can't, like, motherfucker. No, you know what I'm saying? Like, and yeah. especially... After some shit like that, you any hood card, any card that you had is pulled, bro. Even your juggalo card is pulled, bro, because like That's I said, bullshit. I'll straight if a if a ninja's talking shit, I'll roll with them. We're going down, you know what I'm saying? It's it's gonna be a thing. Uh I'm not gonna go into I'm not going to my enemy's house and be like huh, huh, Well they're not even here, you know? Or, or Oh, you want to take? You want to beat me up? Why? I came and knocked at hey, your door. We, we weren't inside when you knocked. We were in the backyard. So what the fuck's up yeah, now? You know. you know what I'm saying? And then now, uh, and now, and now you look like a hoe. But that really Straight has up. seems like that's been a big talk of the issue. And I want to talk about that. Like, like what we're doing now and what we were always doing with MEJ. Right. We don't want it to get twisted into that. So even if I say like stupid shit, uh, just know it's not like real unless you guys if someone wanted to square up over some of the shit that I said oh, we could do that that's no problem yeah, or whatever but, like, but that's not what we're doing this for what, what, we're not with us though I think I think there's a healthy balance bro yeah, like I is. mean like there, there's like him you know what I'm saying and there's me I, I fuck with both of them I might be a little more heavier on Twitter side but that, that was me getting that's into, into it, it yeah. that's how I got into it you know what yeah. I'm saying with Twitter but I, I have no hate for Psychopathic I have no hate for ICP and we're not I, I understand, shit like that and, and the thing is I understand his yeah. Aggression towards Twister, you know why? Why he feels that way? Because he was he was down before I was. It wasn't. Be, it was because of him and, and a couple other homies that we're got those into type it. of ninjas, though. That at you know the same saying? time, like, we're, like, not we're not gonna, gonna be go mad at each other to, to cause problems. I'm I'm not gonna buy tickets to Astronomicon to go cause problems. I'm not gonna hate right. on you the whole time you're at Astronomicon. When my when our boys uh, when um, Matt Murderous and Lotus went to uh, Attack, Attack of the Ninjas, we we helped them hype that shit up. Yeah, like, hyped it up. I don't give a fuck about any of that, but, like, this is still our community. You know yeah. what I'm saying? This is still our shit. You know what I'm saying? I really wish I, or Twisted wouldn't call their fans Juggalos and all that shit anymore. Right. You know, I, I mean, wish they wouldn't. Yeah, but, yeah. but this is still our community. You know what I'm saying? This is still the shit we came up on. So, uh, even I, if I am bitter on shit like that, bro, like, I mean, hey, I helped my boy hype up uh, Attack of the Ninja right. because it's something that they were excited to go be doing. You know what I'm saying? Well, and, 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 uh, so kind of, kind of not, what you were saying, like what the lines are going along. Uh, when I was talking about the the, the replicon shit. Yeah. I, I I would listen to the the interview they had with George, and yeah. they're like, there's a lot of shit about George. I didn't, I had no idea about like, like, uh, where he started and back how, in the day when me and Matt Murders used to do the uh, JCW runs. Right. He would always be the guy there dealing with like. So if we ordered our tickets online, right. we'd have to go there. I'd have to give him my ID and all that shit. Right. He would be always the guy at the thing. Yeah. One time we went. And there was like a big problem with our tickets. Like we went to the show, and they got it got shut down. So we went all the way out there four hours, right. and they'd shut the show down. Uh, well, the next week or the next time as they did it, all of us were supposed to get our the shit back in. So we went. And there was like a whole email thing, but we had to go, and we were like all super nervous. Like, oh, what if they're not gonna let us in because right. of this mm-hmm. shit? But it was George that we dealt with. George from Purple Hash. Uh, yeah. I had his personal email and everything. He's like, when you guys get there, get a hold of me. Blah blah blah. He's like, I'll still need to see your ID, but then they'll honor the tickets or right. whatever. So like, 
Uh, I know that George has always been this, you know, big dude. He's been intertwined. He even put put up that post. He said just he just never got as tight with ICP. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's why well, he went the route with Twisted rather right. than. Well, I, I, if you get a chance, I mean, I know you might not care. I, mean, I probably won't. I mean, no, but the, I mean, like seriously, <laughs> the interview though, like, yeah. there, there, there's no shade thrown in that interview whatsoever. But Replicon Radio, though, they're kind of biased though too, aren't they? Well, they're... doesn't Chuck Reeves fuck? Isn't his shit? Doesn't he like? Uh, doesn't he have a thing on Replicon Radio? Or... He might. Well, Freaky P is. And aren't they a little bit more well, biased? Fa- Fatal Frankie. Yeah. Because Freaky P's his boy, you might yeah. think that, but like, like I'm. Seriously, like if you listen, I've to never it, really listened to anything, but I feel I like, haven't either. But I, yeah. I listen to the George interview. You know what I'm saying? I, but I listen aren't to even most of their artists just MNE? The people that they've interviewed been like mostly MNE and and people that are along those lines. I don't know. I could be wrong. Like I said, well, I, mean, but I, I thought they were like. I mean, yeah. I really feel like they're a more biased organization. I don't know. They're like I mean, Fox they're... News. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> to me, they're like Fox but News. But I mean, like, no, I mean, no, like they're I, like MAGA bitch. You know, that's like, what they are. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, like I, I they, they did have Jamie on there. I listened to that. They had Jamie, Jamie and they had yeah. George and, and George. But I mean, like George's Max interview. And, yeah. George's interview was actually pretty. I might check it out. To know, me, it, it it was really dope and it was really yeah. eye opening. Yeah. And like, it, it, it's not from like. Uh, like a twisted perspective yeah, or yeah, ICP yeah. perspective. Well, I mean, he's guy, like, I'd like to hear George's story. I mean, dude, he's been, and, and he's, and a, and he's like, he's, he's a juggler. He's a juggler. And, and that's the thing, like, dude, this, this interview is not like, oh, so how did this happen? It was like, yeah. how did George get, and it, yeah. dude, it went from that question, how did George get involved into the underground to, to yeah. where right now? And I've like, seen, dude, I've and seen then, pictures that George posted from, you know, back at early And George, and George is all like about, I mean, you might not think, or you might be like, whatever, who cares? Yeah. But he's about the unity, dude. Like, I mean, he sounds he sounds legit. The unity is the beef is profitable. The beef is but profitable. But the, the profitability off of the beef is ending, uh, and unity was way more profitable. Yeah. Uh, when we look back at the shit that we've been talking about today, uh, the profitability of the beef is fading now onto Twisted, where. In Chicago, they can't sell out, or they can't get good right. numbers in Chicago. I mean, I, was, I I enjoyed myself. Like I said, the, yeah, the, the sense, the performances were dope, but, but like the, the, the crowd outcome like that, compared yeah. to like how it how it, how it used, used to be, be it, it was it was yeah. I don't want to say I'm, sad, but it was, I'm talking it was disappointing, even bro. Like it was three years ago. Yeah, and, know, it, and, like, it, and it there wasn't has even, been a sharp drop off super in attendance off. since this beef has been so much more publicized. On there is more. Like, the Chicago Juggalos are more ICP-type Juggalos, right. you know what I'm saying? You're going to get the regulars. You're going to get Carabizi. You're going to get our boy Chavin. You're going to get, you know, the Johnson brothers that go to all the Twisted shows and shit. You're going to get all that stuff, but you're not going to get me, Beast, fucking, you know, uh, James Laletta. Other, I'm trying to think of other Chicago Juggalos that I know would go if it was fucking, you know, Twisted, fucking Jason Blood, you know what I'm saying? There would have been more people out if it, they would have, if it would have been ICP, because right. it's a different thing. I think that ICP will still be ICP, but I really think this beef and the way that Twisted has turned has kind of hurt them a little bit more. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they got three members in Twisted now. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, I really like. We were gonna wrap up the the shit on our like uh, on our, our juggalo or on this whole CPN thing because I just want to let everyone know that even though we talk a lot, me especially talks a lot of shit <laughs> we're not we're not to be twisted with some fucking cpn no. or fucking chuck reeves and see i don't even talk about chuck reeves because he doesn't represent me i don't think at all uh, but i think I he doesn't represent people, me either i so think when people see him. like you know cpn like oh no he's that's a psychopathic juggalo fuck no he's not bro <laughs> you know what i'm saying because first of all psychopathic juggalos ain't getting our phones slept out of our hand and they whoop them up because they're crying about it and they're crying about it and it wasn't like and then you know the whole thing yeah it's, yeah Whatever, go watch the fucking video. It, it's on his thing. Like he's like, oh yeah, you know, CP and I'm gonna watch it as soon YouTube. as this shit's over. It's on his fucking YouTube. Go watch it and like, I don't know. Like I said, to me, it was, it was super ho shit because he got punked the fuck out. Yeah. Regardless, if Dustin didn't KO him, he still stole off your ass. Yeah, yeah. And you waited until you got to your fucking car and talk shit like a little bitch and talk shit when, That's you, like, when you had your fucking door open like, like it wasn't video, like you were just walking to your car talking shit the whole time there yeah you waited till you got to your fucking car door door was open and then, talk then you started talking shit and then you drove off and we're going on this rant oh he hits like a bitch well, well if he hits like a bitch why the fuck you ain't hit him back yeah plain and simple you went there 
expecting no one to be there if someone was there and fucking checked you. I don't know what you went there expecting. That's the whole thing, too. I don't know. No, what you went there. He went there, if you went there you know, like expecting no one to be there, then yeah, yeah for sure. That's exactly what happened. He didn't, he didn't think like, oh, there's no, like, oh, there's no like, not. You're 100 percent bitch. He might talk and say like, oh yeah, I'm I'm waiting here for someone. So almost maybe I'll run into somebody. Bro, come on now. You know nobody was fucking over there like that. I'm gonna check that video out and uh, I'm, I'll like I said, they'll be the first fucking CPN video. You watch the, hey, all you gotta do is watch the point where yeah. he fucking slaps the phone against his car. That's right? all I see. And I'm gonna see that. Right. I don't need to see him walking around this no. fucking uh, empty doctor's office or whatever the fuck it's at. Strip, uh, strip mall or whatever. Of it. <laughs> but right. hey, man. Uh, besides that, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna try to keep. Uh, oh. Knocking out these web shows regularly. Yeah, it's yeah. been a little pause since then, but we want to knock out some more of them. You know what I'm saying? Hey, quick, 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 quick. Uh, the actual website. Oh yes, yeah. Because yeah, you know, we still we still have a minute. Um, let, uh, talk about this website real quick. I'm gonna piss real fast, it's and fucking, then we'll uh, talk a little bit more on it. Because I just was with our yeah. uh, web designer again this weekend. We were talking about. Well, so uh, go ahead. I can't go into too much detail, but our homie just got the uh, just got the hookup. Is de- designing the website for us. Uh, works for a super dope company. Uh, that has to deal with interweb stuff. So, um, our website is like a project to present to his bosses, right? Pretty much, it, it's uh, a project for him to present, kind of oh, like yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. like show his bosses what he can do, what he's capable of. And uh, we got a pretty dope server, like super dope server, I guess. And uh, the dot com is bought, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, or we're going to talk a bunch of technical jargon right now that we don't really know because we're not technical geniuses like there, our homeboy is. There's no technical jargon. And, but anyway, he went for a super dope internet I don't, I don't got another one of these uh, distribution, whatever. Um, yeah, and we've talked about it in other web shows. He's working for one of the largest data centers in the United States right data now. Um, he is using uh, our website as kind of like a project. So uh, he's getting paid at work to develop uh, the website. It's going to be... Um, on a server that will be hooked up to fiber optic internet, which is like, you know, the fastest internet there is right now. Um, uh, If you guys are familiar with the original Midwest United Juggalos website, um, we had uh, a full-on fucking... uh, We had uh, blogs, motherfucking chat rooms, uh, uh, tabs with video games. Oh, because we also have that video game emulator that he's doing now, too, which is going to make that even better, man. Uh, if, you, if you guys have been to the website before, um, we did. We had a whole. We had the MUJ Arcade. We had the MUJ Theater. Um, our MUJ Arcade. Uh, I was actually just with uh, our homeboy Adam. Uh, hopefully, once the web show or the website launches, we'll have him on here, and he'll go ahead and you know te- uh, talk to you about all the technical jargon and shit, <clears throat> and he'll be able to fucking answer a lot more questions that uh, we really can't answer just because we don't know exactly how it works or whatever. But basically. Um, we're gonna uh with the new shit um because if you guys watch our other videos we've already talked about what you can expect with the website but in our recent developments because we wanted to give you guys uh updates uh on every web show um recent developments is that we have purchased the name midwestunitedjuggalos.com um that is 100 percent ours right now if you actually go to uh that address it will not load up for you it'll time out because it's there but there's nothing attached to it um those of you guys who do know anything about uh computers or looking up websites or whatever you'll see what happens and you'll realize that it, it exists but it doesn't exist um our newest updates is when uh we talked about our when we compare it to our old website we did have the muj arcade and uh the muj theaters um our new arcade system will be uh Basically, every game you could think of. Um, I've actually played a few. I was playing Castlevania the other night. Were you there? What were you there the night that I was uh, loading up M- uh, M- uh, NBA Jams? No. All right. Then I played uh, NBA Jam 2K, the Sega edition, and I played uh, uh, Castlevania Bloodlines uh, <clears throat> on the video game editor, uh, emulator that we have. Um, Adam is a big video game guy, and his uh, one of his friends, and I'm actually using, if you guys have heard of a Plex, it's an app that's available on, like, uh, like Fire Stick and shit, and I'm using um, a stream that he has, and it's, like, all the top shit. I mean, like, I have everything on my fingertips because of what this guy does. He's basically making the same version, but it's that with video games. It'll be, like, the Netflix of video games. You go, you pick it, shit loads up, and whether it's on fucking... 
a Game Boy <laughs> emulator, it all loads up there, or, you know, all the way up to, uh, I forgot what he has, what the highest system it goes up to, but it doesn't go up to, like, the big, like, PS4 and all that shit. Um, but that'll Old now, that'll, it'll, but everything, like, up to, like, PS3. See, yeah. Like yeah. it's it's crazy. Like all the cool hey, ass if shit. You could go up to sixty four <clears throat> and stop there. Sixty four and all that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was playing. We played uh, Goldeneye. Yeah. Uh, sixty four. He's got to get other controllers, but like right. you basically just like it automatically gotta, syncs to a I controller. So if you have a controller at the crib or whatever, you buy yeah. a controller for your computer. My boy's or got a, one of my boys, Danny. Uh, yeah. Chadwick, he does a he does some Raspberry Pis. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, he brought one over one day. <clears throat> and I was using my, my PS4 controller on this thing playing yeah. fucking Super Nintendo games. See, what's cool like, is that that's just dope. with Adam's shit now, it'll, as long as you have good internet, any one of these games you can go ahead and play, but you don't have to download it. It'll be like streaming like Netflix right. is, you yeah. know what I'm saying? That's so that'll be in the MUJ Arcade. But then also, he's going to do one of his uh, uh, hookups on the, the video thing like I'm using right now. And... Um, special members and this is like you know like tentative we don't want to be like like money people so we haven't worked this all out yet but we'll be able to allow a certain amount of members to a free video streaming uh streaming service do you know what i'm saying so yeah, if you see, like i, I, I so missed that we're, meeting, but that's uh, well it just happened this weekend right. when we were uh, over so there for the, for the fight for uh, my okay. birthday or whatever yeah. um, we were just talking about that but like it, that is, that's an option that we'll be able to have so like uh like you want to be like a premium member or whatever like you know a lot of people do patreon and stuff to get like you know keep th like things going we'd probably be able to let like 20 people into uh a plex stream to where like you'd have everything i'm talking about, like like uh i couldn't tour it the second season or a third season of dave Chappelle. i couldn't find him anywhere yeah. bro i've been watching like you just click them you don't have to go to like a certain stream or whatever shit just loads up plays right away so all the new movies all this shit that. so you'd be able to maybe pay a subscription fee or a one-time fee and be a platinum member of fucking the midwest united juggalo shit and then you'd be able to get access to this video streaming service to yeah, where yeah. from our website you could watch yeah. any movie, any TV show that you want to. That's dope. Like, uh, so that's like a, another idea that we have right now because we do want to have some way to sustain the website, um, which we might, I mean, I don't know how it's really going to work. Uh, Adam gets paid for building our website and then our thing's going to be on a free fucking one terabyte yeah. server. <laughs> so I don't know how, the, how that all works or whatever. We'll see what happens. But um, but it was cool. There was just some things that we had talked about. And I wanted to update you guys on that. And Jiggy Fresh really hadn't even heard that yet. Um, yeah, that, we really cool. just talked about it last weekend. Um, but um, we keep saying, and I really think that like by the end of this year, we're gonna have some kind of template to show you guys. We're gonna like uh, in this video like show you like screenshots of what our website's looking like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I so mean, his his. I mean, just being at, at Adam's house, his back room's like a fucking command center, dude. He it? runs a, uh, I don't know if you guys know, there's a game called Ark. It's a, it's Is that a, the dinosaur game? Yes, it's a dinosaur game. Yeah. yeah. He runs some kind of server from his house. He's got like, the, you've seen that, the yeah. box that mm -hmm. he's got. So he runs some kind of like Ark server, but that's where he's also going to do this video game thing from. So uh, from the website, you'd go to the tab, MUJ Arcade or whatever. And then, boom, it would take you to a list of video games. And if you go, I don't know, like, and this is, I don't know exactly how this would work again. I don't know this te how this technical shit's going to work. But yeah. when Adam yeah. shows this, this shit and it loads up, it's like, when I say Netflix, the video games, you go and it gives you, like, a whole synapsis of the video game. And then when you're playing the game, any game, like, you know, back in the day, you couldn't just save games. Right. Like, any of the game, you could just pause it and save your spot onto it. Then any of the games, if they have yeah. codes for it, you press pause, and then there's the list of all the codes and all that shit for it then, too. Oh, it's shit. so fucking dope. I played three games on it. I was like, bro, finally, because, like, the last two times I trashed it, I was like, oh, man, you know, I can't. He's like, pick any game. Pick any game you want to play it. And the first game that I go to play is MG, uh, NBA Jam uh, TE. That used to be the yeah. shit back on yeah. Sega or whatever. Go to play that it didn't work. So this next time when I went over there, he made sure that everything was mapped right. He's like, "What? I knew you wanted to play that basketball game. I go play and shit." And I was like, "Oh, this is dope, bro!" And it's here now. I'm playing it on a fucking forty inch fucking TV and fucking sitting back, you know, just playing it off a fucking uh, PlayStation Four controller. Um, so we'll be able to do shit like that from the website now. Yeah, it's like. Yeah. When we say MUJ in 4K, and we've said it in like every video. UHD in 4K. <laughs> that's what the fuck is happening. IMAX. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, it's happening, man. That's, that's what's happening right now, and we're, we're super happy about it. 
Um, so in every episode, we kind of want to catch you guys up on that. And uh, yeah, we just don't want to forget about that. It, it kind of popped in my head. Yeah, yeah. Cause it's all that fucking CP and bullshit. But yeah, it's, <laughs> the website is fucking. Usually, uh, we always like you know we try to save like uh, the drama shit for the end of the web show so that we can fucking you know really talk about it, and get it out of there. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, yeah. but yeah, we did want to talk about the web show. There was a couple other things, you know, yeah. just like uh, you know like. Um, the weekly wicked web show might be by try, <laughs> you know, yeah. quad but, weekly I mean, like, web like show. A, you know a, a lot of it was was us, you know, scheduling conflicts and yeah. and I mean and and even discussing them like with the website and stuff. You know, yeah, what I'm saying yeah. a lot of this shit's been going. Into so that, yeah, I mean, so. Uh, like that is, and like we kind of prepped you guys for that. That for for sure, October was going to be all sauced up swag, and then we're going to be working on like cool things. We really want to do other things than just sit in front of a camera and talk to you guys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we want to get like this wrestling overdub show that me and Matt Murders. Matt Murders also just had some recent car trouble. It was basically housebound for a while, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, but we want to get together and like, we're going to do the overdub wrestling shit where we watch some fucking crazy ass like Japanese wrestling shit and then talk about it oh, yeah. while it's going, you know and what I'm saying? Even hopefully once, once the website gets going or, or we get more people involved, we can yeah. do, you know, a, a live... Or uh, a stream of it in Echo Side or or Joe Lowe's against Sandy or any of so those you know, the one times you know and it's like uh, we do understand that you know you know like we gotta put it out there just like we said about ICP someone's gotta you know we have to put it out there well in advance yeah. to let you guys know that we're gonna Not do some shit or whatever. Like, hey guess what, guys, you know. hey in an hour come get just do some <laughs> shit or whatever but we're gonna put out this video like you know I. And amongst the team, we're going to talk about more. You know, everyone just needs to... You know, we just go live for random shit, you know what I'm saying? Right. We have... Uh, Lotus is going to be out at some uh, convention out in Chicago. Oh, right. I told her, I was like, just go fucking... Go ham on that shit. WindyCon? WindyCon, is that what it is? Yeah, WindyCon. It's the 45th, which is crazy. It's the 45th anniversary of this convention right now. WindyCon. Yeah, WindyCon. And, uh, a sci-fi dystopian... Yeah. Convention. Uh, the theme for it is uh, yeah. I looked on the website. That's the crazy. theme for it is unsung heroes. Uh, it's like a, it's not one of your like mainstream conventions, so it'd probably be really cool to go to. We told her to just take over. You know, what I'm saying get on Instagram and just you know go live, show show pictures of uh, you know some of the people in costume or whatever. And that's what I don't like. Mm. You know, I we we gotta just do more. You know, what I'm saying if I would have went out to uh, juggle or uh, take a juggle at Red Lobster Day yesterday, I would have tried to have gone. You know, live a little bit for that or whatever. Um, I'm gonna take a uh, make a new juggle day. Yeah, yeah. We're making our own holiday. We're gonna MJ, take your fucking homie to fucking Hooters. Hooters Day. <laughs> We're gonna go to Hooters and sneak our fagel inside Hooters or whatever. But yeah, man. You know, so we just want to keep the freshness going. Uh, and it was dope because we had a lot to talk about. Obviously, I mean, this is a long fucking uh, web show. We had yeah. a, a lot to talk about because um, October was fun as fuck. We got to right. see the clowns. Get to see Twizzler and this bitch. He got to see like a, the all stars of M and E. Then really on that fucking tour, you know. Uh, well, I guess because Gmo Ski wasn't there. Gmo wasn't there. Lex the Hex and all them. Right? I mean, yeah, I mean, but the new, the new guys, the, the, really the, the newer new guys. guys yeah. Seeing seeing UGA live for the first time was 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 dope. Oh, yeah. uh, and and seeing X, you know, Alizuilu was uh, that was super dope too. So I mean, and then, to me, of course, Twisted always kills it, but you know, Twisted is the shit. But hey, man, I might buy that fucking new nightmare. That shit. This month, man, I got too much vinyl coming though, we'll and they're still gonna do. Uh, s- hopefully, they're still supposed to do um, Amazing Chocolate Brothers for Record Black Friday. Store. Yeah, record store Black Friday. Yeah. Uh, but I won't go participate in that. I'll just pay the extra money like I did for Milanko last year. Um, but man, anything that does come up, we'll try to keep you guys posted on Fearless Fred Fury in three months or some shit. Uh, I don't know if we talked about urinal, but the urinal video oh, is yeah, out. We did see if we, uh, yeah. And we were talking about Kenzie with Ouija marks, but yeah. Yeah, because we were marking out on Ouija that we, 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 we forgot to drop it. The urinal video. video is out. Go peep that shit. Uh, go peep that shit while well, you still can before they pull that shit off the internet like they've been trying to do, you know what I'm saying? All over Facebook. Uh, uh, pissing all over faces and shit. Honestly, that is the track that really like hooked us into Ouija. Dude, we, we were, yeah, it was, it was at the, uh, Malenko, the Malenko tour. Yeah, we were all sauced up. We were all sauced up, and then. He us with that. I fuck a bitch. And the whole time, we're the... Oh, oh shit. I fuck, I fuck a bitch. Is real, real. Oh, and I was like, man, that's the coolest that, diss That's ever. the only part we heard, though. Hey, I fuck... We thought, literally, we thought the hook was, I fuck a bitch. It's a funeral. Hey, I fuck a bitch. It's a funeral. That's all we sang for, like, <laughs> the fucking... Until Good Water yeah, actually came out. We heard it was like, this was not what the fuck we heard. Like, 
God damn, where's your master dirty bastard? Open your mouth and your urinal. Spoke only six words. Open your mouth and your urinal. Oh, but, shit. But I was like, whoa. That's not what I heard at the fucking <laughs> Nah, bro. Room. All I heard was like, fucking Off bitches and bitches. Yeah, funeral. We're fucking, <laughs> oh, shit. We're like, the Migos in the bag of shit. Oh, yeah. Bitch, hey. Oh, my God. And, oh, man. But then... You know what I'm saying? Then, then we got trash fire and then fucking gutter water. Oh, just like, shit, okay, okay. And then we, when we heard you, and I was like, I just kind of took him back, but hey, the hey. whole album was fucking fire. Hey, and, job. Fucking... Hey, and shout out to Ouija for dropping so many videos already so far on gutter water. Uh, he, he said he's going to do uh, every uh, song or a video for every song. song. And I'm going to go on a uh, record right now. Diamonds is going to be the last song in that YCP video. Uh, the, and I'm yeah, going gonna, gonna to go on record and speculate and say that the Diamonds video will have a budget. Cause these other ones don't look like they do, and I'm not hating at all. No. I'm happy because I'm happy that there's videos. The it's video, dope, though. I, yeah, it's and dope. all of them have been cool. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I mean, none of them had to like. Be, yeah, know. they didn't have to be like you know, like the song or whatever. Right. Videos most of the time aren't you know right. like a, a a direct depiction of the song. Right, but, uh, but I bet you at least the ICP one will have a slight budget because ICP will be in it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Uh, I but I hope so. they do that. I, I hope they do it too. And I no, and I, I really want a future wicked though, man. That. Ooh, shit. It's, it's gonna be Because yeah. nobody's talking about light anymore, and I fucking love light. Where's light <laughs> at? Shit, where is light? We need the light and all this darkness. Shit, come on. I see all you're building the studio in your crib or whatever and all that, but all right, we need some light. Okay, now speculation. The video before Diamonds is going to be Future Wicked. Future Wicked? <laughs> oh, we need that Future Wicked video. Uh, and then we already speculated that the last video will be Denial. Knocking on heaven, yeah. Yeah. No, it's diamonds, bro. I'm telling you. That'll be the last no. video? No, you're right. You're right. The last video. Okay. The very last okay, hold video. On. The third to last video is going to be Future Wicked. The second, no, I think the, the second I, last video is going to be fucking diamonds. I think he's going to still do every video, uh, all the songs off, uh, like he says he is. But yeah, I think Denial should wrap everything up with Denial. Wrap the whole album up. Uh, I think all, that should be a depiction video, though. Yeah, that should be a fucking video where I think that should be where it a shows budget more, video. Yeah, budget video than two. Yeah, because I mean, but you've earned. The, I feel like we just earned the fucking budget. Hell I mean, yeah! I'll we, tell you what. We've we, talked. Ouija, we've talked about Ouija this year more than any psychopathic project. More than any anything. Yeah. I think Ouija's been, yeah. Ouija's been... I was actually... Uh, I swear looking, to God, if Faye looking looking my iTunes. Or, or anybody don't give him a fucking award, award? for anything... Yeah. MUJ's Fuck. gonna give you a fucking award. I will, real, I will fucking go to the local fucking trophy store... <laughs> and I'm buy gonna, you an award. If it's a little fucking... And it ain't gonna be a pro participation hey, trophy. It's gonna be something. You if know it's a little fucking basketball player, I will, I will customize it myself and Bro, we'll, because, we'll hook you up because that's... Uh, Ouija, Ouija's fucking... I don't give a fuck. 2018, we just shut it down. Bro. I looked at uh, and a lot of fucking haters. Looked at my iTunes and it shows my most played. We just and uh, got a water trash fire and East uh, Rockwell Farm. It's uh, uh, fucking Run the Jewels three, and then the rest is all Ouija. Yeah. And I, the rest of them, like there would have been more Run the Jewels, but I got Apple Music right around the time that Run the Jewels three came out. And I listened to that fucking like nonstop for months straight, and then I did the same thing with fucking Trash Fire and Gutter Water. Yeah, yeah. When Gutter Water, when uh, Trash Fire came on the, the Death Plus albums, we were listening uh, to shit out of fucking the whole time we were in Colorado. We listened oh, to Trash, Trash Fire. Fire. We, we, me and him probably pissed everybody off in the car because they were like, we planted that fucking seed though, and a lot we of them planted that seed. And, and, and I'm telling you what, a lot of them, <laughs> Adam and, and Sam for Adam sure. Adam and Sam, we planted that seed, and it was like, you know, yeah, he. You know, after I listen to that, you know, it, it is pretty decent. And then Gutter Water hit. Yeah, I mean, Gutter Water was uh, the album of the summer for sure. Uh, album of the year. Now it's going to end up ending the year. I kind of want to. I want to hit up the dude uh, we met at, at, at uh... Tolston? Torsten Julie. Torsten Julie. Torsten Julie. Hey, man. Shout out to that shout motherfucking Shout out to Torsten, man. Hey, he, hey if you guys have a compliment, hey, super cool. Man, uh, yeah. He fucking he did the, uh, the, 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 Ouija, silver, uh, the silver Ouija Mag pendants that have uh, a secret code on them. Do they? They have a secret. That's why I said I want to hit them up. Yeah. And try to get one because they do have uh, some kind of secret. And even Ouija's posted about this. It has some kind of fucking. They're they're embedded with some kind of code for something. No shit, I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, hey, I found the torches. And, well, uh, we met we met that bro. cat out at the uh, Slice uh, EP show in, from in Fort Wayne. Fort Wayne. Yeah. Yeah. Cool ass dude. Uh, we were outside chilling with him and uh, his lady or whatever, uh, and we had a good time out there politicking or whatever. 
Uh, short story long, long story short, he uh, was put a sign that he was making the fucking dope fucking silver fucking yeah, so, uh, so, uh, Ouija, uh, ooh, excuse me, Ouija, Ouija charms that were going to drop like that day or, or the next day or whatever. He still, hey, and I think they were, it was supposed to be limited to a certain thing, but he, yeah, he I, I see, them, if man. you follow him on IG, is T O R S. Yeah, look that shit up right now. Hey, cause, hey, cause for real, like, he's fucking dope, we did want to make sure we shouted out this cat, man. Uh, cool as fuck, bro. And he's always putting up dope ass shit on Instagram. You can always check out his work. He's always doing yeah. his work on Instagram. Uh, but we've been fucking with the cat since it's, uh, fucking, uh, Torsten, T O R S T E N T-O-R-S-T-E-N underscore jewelry. And that's his, that's his IG. But yeah. yeah, cat was super dope. He showed us man love. Uh, yeah, he's cool as to shit. And I mean, it, He's always posting videos on the gram of him doing yeah, work, doing live work videos, and getting all uh, this shit or whatever. And he's from you know Reed somewhere around this motherfucker because he passes through all this area. Yeah, all, you know, he's somewhere shit. in Indiana, I believe. Uh, but yeah, man, shout out to that shout out to Jewelry, super dope dude. Yeah, that shit was cool as fuck, man. Yeah. We had a good ass time at the fucking ice yeah, That ice shit, that ice shit like, was dope as fuck, man. We 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 were not uh, planning on doing like a whole lot of super promo. You know, it was kind of a last. Hey, we're just, let's go. Yeah, fuck, let's let's run out and then. We, I mean, we, we, we probably take a few people. And we did. Like, we, we got a lot. We got of some of the freak right? shows. You know the, uh, the the chick from the flame. The yeah, the grinder chick. chick and, yeah, she's uh, following us and a couple uh, other. We got like about three or four uh, yeah. cool followers from that night, and all of them have been dope as fuck. They like all of our shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, it is like different doing this like time of uh, MUJ where we got Instagram, so we got a lot of Instagram love. Yeah, and we yeah, appreciate Instagram all that love. shit. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? Uh, that Instagram love it does blow. We post some shit now. You ain't got a hashtag shit. You get the likes and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's up. Uh, we want to just keep that popping. If we're going to focus on things that we'll be focusing on social media, and that is kind of like something we're just going to try to like vow to you motherfuckers now. I, like, what's weird about me is I, I'm i like trying to abstain as much as I can from social media. I hate it. It's such a drag or whatever. But those pages aren't me, so I can post whatever the fuck I want. Yeah, and I always got to remember that. You know what I'm saying? That's not like, that, you know, that's like, a team page yeah, you know, yeah. so I can post these things. But really, like, uh, on IG, I'll be trying to post a lot of uh, shit a lot more. Twitter would be a thing that we would just like. I, I'd like to get on to Twitter more, uh, and it's hard for me to tweet on my own account sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But um, we're gonna do a little bit more activity, and there will be things to come. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna try to really schedule these web uh, web shows out to where we could do them. Schedule you know what I'm web shows, and hopefully, like you said, plan plan ahead of time next time we try to do a a, a, a game night. Man, we hope to, to have get some, everybody like, uh, included, man. You know what I'm saying? I hope to have a winter party again. If we don't do this big ball of shit. Uh, then I'll probably throw uh, a Christmas party like we normally do, <laughs> and then just do that, and we'll bring some people over. Even if it's like a different type of shit, where you know, where it's you know, but I like it's been a while since we've done some DJ shit, and I'd like to you know yeah. do like the full on banger. You know, for those of you who don't know, that's the man. Yeah, so we want to like so. uh, we used to throw a lot of like crazy house parties, and everyone like the last two, couple of years I've still done the Jolly Jam, which is like a like a. Our Christmas, uh, our Christmas party. party or whatever but I want to do it again this year and hopefully more people like I gotta figure out we're either doing this or we're gonna do another fucking Jolly Jam and hopefully more people will be able to come this year and we'll like make it like it was uh, like Snurp type shit you know what I'm saying Snurp. but I don't go to nobody's shit and I don't do nothing anymore so nobody comes to my <laughs> shit you know what I'm saying I think Tara I think and shit like if I would've went to her uh, if I would've went to her uh, Halloween, Halloween party she would've had to have come to motherfucking Jolly Jam you know, right, what, you know what I'm saying, saying? so uh, Bobby, yeah, uh, whatever you know, you know what I'm saying Tara said us up you know happy birthday to her Oh, yeah. Or no, it didn't happen. Right? It was Halloween party. Halloween, and I, I, I mean, I should have went. It was like the weekend of my birthday. Yeah. I really didn't do shit after uh, that weekend. I, so. didn't, I didn't do nothing. Either. Yeah, I should have just fucking uh, should have went. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, we're gonna have a uh, yeah. We'll do something. Man, we even need to just go out to Sweet's house, set the cameras yeah. up, and play some fucking shit. Fucking Sweet's. Sweet? Hey, he messaged me on my birthday, and well, I'm like, oh, bro, we gonna, hopefully we can chop it up again soon, you know well, what I'm saying? Uh, we just drive out there. We'll just drive out there, bro. I'll, one day, I'll, yeah. We'll just have to drive out I'm there. not even gonna fucking ask you, so well, hey, We're just, we're just gonna show up, yeah. Billards. Yeah, we're Billard, Billards all flat knocking at your Billard's door. Billards all know? flat knocking at your door, standing in the cold in fucking South Bend, Mishawaka area. Because we promised once we relaunched uh, MUJ, we were gonna do uh, South Bend Takeover, and we haven't done it since. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, right before We're MUJ, coming. we got MUJ back together, we took that impromptu trip out to South Bend, remember? Yeah. Strolled in, and Cheers Sweets and uh, right Lemon right. were fucking, uh, that time that Sweets oh, and Lemon yeah. were just spinning oh, yeah. and watching on that, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, the other time we did the Ragnarok shit, yeah. we did, like, Shout out to really? nephew, cop. Hey, he's got his... I haven't listened to it yet, man. Hey, I need to listen to it. Uh, yeah, probably... Uh, October, October Sidewalks, Sidewalks by Ragnarok, uh... 
It's on SoundCloud. It's on Bandcamp. It's not. It, it'll soon be on Spotify. And hey, we fuck with nephew, bro. We fuck with hey, nephew. Bro. Nephew, hey. You ain't heard it yet. Like, I mean, I heard his older shit, you know, and, and I, I've always told him, hey, you gotta, you gotta step up with me, bro. Step this, it up. October Sidewalks, bro, I, yeah. I was. Yeah. Oh, man, I was proud. We'll check it out. I was proud of my nigga, man. We'll check you know, it out. Hey, Shout out to my nephew Kyle. And, and he, hey, and and Rock. like, we need to go out more out of them, you know? Yeah. They got ABK and whatever the fuck out hey, there next real, time when you go out there. Freddie Grimes, or whatever the fuck he, out there when you he, go out there. He's a shit. super, like, uh, I wanna say, like, a. More of a ace. I don't know if you guys know who Ace yeah, of Rock is. You, know, you guys know prof type shit like prof that. Type, you know but I, he's more rap like that, but this October Sidewalks boy, oh my God. I was I, I listened to it on the way home from work and like I got home, I was like, nah, like I sat in my car and just finished it. Yeah. Cause I, I didn't want to I didn't want to go inside and get it interrupted. It was it was it was fucking Yeah, I'm gonna have to it made it an uncle proud, man. I was like, damn. Hell yeah. Like, all right, he stepped it up, you know, and, and he does his pretty much does his own beats off of fucking Ableton and, and, and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So I mean, he does like even his beats are kind of like uh, that fucking yeah, but, rhyme slayers type yeah. beats. It's and the rhyme slayers type, but I mean, hey, he, yeah. I'm gonna have to check this shit out. So shout out, check, I check it out. Uh, and I had a minute to check it out. Just Ragnarok, track, you know just like the, just like the movie Thor. Ragnarok, his name yeah. is, is Ragnarok, and the album is uh, October Sidewalk. Hey, shout out to this cat though. For shout real, out man, to Kyle, sure. man. Love you, love you, love Hell yeah, bro. We got mad, mad love for nephew. We used to know this kid since, I mean, I've known him since he was a baby and shit, too. You know what big I'm saying? Head, so, <laughs> big head, motherfucker. But hey, got love to motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully, maybe we'll catch out him out at Cheers because I know Cheers or wherever he's at. Yeah, he gets he, a lot of good shows cheers, and shit. Yeah. Um, for cheers sure. and Smiths and shit. Yeah, maybe so. we could, uh, I mean, like, that'd be another, I mean, that's a plug right there where you could at least be able to go check out these shows or whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, big shout outs. Like I said, if we can do this again real soon, uh, we will. Anything else, we'll be updating you guys on. Uh, for Matt Murderous, I'm Bobby Blaze. G Fresh. Woo, woo. Woo. Team MPJ, motherfucker. <laughs>